Ahoy, wonders, and welcome back to the table. I'm your special guest host for the evening, the Admiral of Animation, Lanny Pator, joined, as always, by my two compatriots here. Uh, we got Ben, the maestro of musical mayhem. And Ezra, the meister, or the master of the rings. <laughs> Not wearing any rings today, unfortunately. I should have so thought today about that. They're the, invisible, it's fine. Today is the uh, first adventure of the special Saturday morning cartoon <gasps> edition of The Natural Wonders, and that comes with some special rules. Willikers. Uh, first of all, each of these two have been given a very special item powered by a magical gem world, which the wonders <laughs> are sworn to protect. And uh, they will be explore, uh, you will be able to explore those items along with them as the campaign progresses. Uh, also... <clears throat> Some of the characters might be a, a little bit different this time around because, uh, you know, to make it a bit more cartoony, everybody's a bit more caricature-ish, you each get plus two to each of your stats, except <sighs> Ezra, you get a minus two to strength. Oh, no. And Eloy, you get a minus two to intelligence <laughs> oh, because so you're just that dumb. <laughs> so, just, you know, the way I've role-played him. <laughs> yeah, perfect. <laughs> oh, jeez. Uh, Eloy, I don't think I'm going to be able to help you lift this rock. <laughs> oh, man, this ream of paper's just a little too much for me. <laughs> just, oh, boy. Just, just a bit heavy. <laughs> I, I need to aim my crossbow, but could you just hold it up for me? <laughs> <laughs> and of course, being a Saturday morning cartoon, uh, you, you'll be able to see some of our crew in action as we go along, uh, but not every character that you know will be here. Just to be ready for that, because okay. this is a cartoon in the world of Las Aranis, taking place well after the adventures of the Wonders have come to a close. There's only so much time on Saturday There's morning. There's only so much time on a Saturday morning. Uh, with that being mm. said, I have a lot of fun stuff here. Hopefully it covers three hours. Maybe it'll go longer. I have no fucking clue. This is my first time trying to do a specifically timed GM run. <laughs> so this will be fun. Allow me to paint a picture for you, gentlemen. Uh, but before we, before we do that, uh, anybody have anything they wish to discuss or go over? Or? Yeah, I think we're pretty clear. Like I'd, The big thing is my magical item, which will come up later, but I yeah. got Got those stats right here. I've yep, each of you will be given some special items. Uh, the only items you will not have access to are the special magical doodads that Zito might have given you that he did not leave notes for. <laughs> which he left notes for uh, none. <laughs> oh, great. So uh, what about Scaffy? <laughs> oh, don't worry. Okay. Don't worry. Scaffy still exists. All right, good. In fact, he might be more useful <gasps> than doing Yay! absolutely nothing every episode. Awesome. <laughs> <laughs> it's exactly one action until he withers. Yes. But don't worry, maybe this will give you some ideas of how to use that action yeah. in the future. So maybe we'll just grow here today. So allow me to paint you a picture. It's Saturday morning on Jahal Cove. Two children scamper downstairs, sit in front of their new Scry Tech V20 <laughs> 2000 scrying orb, whisper to each other, shh, you got the snacks? Yeah, yeah, I got the snacks. Okay, let's, let's turn it on. Don't wake mom and dad. Okay, yeah, I know, it's early and they don't, okay. It's time for the Natural Wonders Cartoon Spectacular! Natural Wonders! Pew! Cut to a montage of awesome campy action that our adventurers have gone through. Natural Wonders! Saving the world in the seven seas! Natural Wonders! Deed in a beam! Punching evil in the face for you and me! Natural Wonders! <laughs> That's right! says uh, it from the front. <laughs> <laughs> it's a normal morning aboard the Yeldon. You two are just waking up, getting ready for the day. You wander down, stretching up after you've dressed for the evening in your everyday attire. Literally, you wear the exact same thing every day because we're animated. <laughs> Instead of the usual reason why Eloy wears the same thing every day. Because <laughs> it's all he owns. <laughs> you stroll downstairs, go to the galley, ready for a delicious breakfast from your favorite cook. What's, what's on the menu today, Grammy? Oh, hello, boys. <laughs> oh, I do wish we had some more to eat. Normally, Wake will have brought us some food by now, but he hasn't been back yet today since he left. <laughs> <laughs> that Wake, probably just off having fun gallivanting without us. <laughs> oh, he does enjoy his fun. I'll see what I can put together for you. I've, I've made a little hash out of some leftovers. <laughs> Sounds delicious. Enjoy, she says as she doesn't walk away. She just kind of floats back <laughs> into the shadows. <laughs> I take a big old fork and 
Grab a bite. Oh boy, it's delicious. Mm, Absolutely lovely. wonderful, like everything Grammy makes. <laughs> <laughs> ah, another balanced breakfast from old, good old Grammy. <laughs> oh, yep, this, this, this would appear to be brought to us by our sponsors, Hamster Hash. <laughs> Not made of hamsters, but with a hamster on the box. Delicious. Ah, uh, you scarf it away, you scarf it away, and you notice on, uh, Onslow coming aboard with a uh, nice huge slabs of meat, just slabs of meat on his back. Not a whole animal, just slabs of meat, you yeah, know. Yeah. Abstract meat, clearly not <laughs> identifiable as anything cute and cuddly. Or dead. <laughs> no, I see the fish man ain't back yet. Mm-mm. Oh, I saw him running off that way. Mm. Seemed in awful hurry. He's kind of nervous. I, I bet he's I bet he's getting prepped up for that big date with Calliope. <laughs> oh, that would explain the nervousness, Eloy. <laughs> <laughs> it sure would. But, uh... Yeah, I don't know how long this will feed us. Maybe you two could go talk some sense into him, find him, figure out what's up. Now, mm-hmm. I'm going to go uh, get this to Grammy. <laughs> well, thanks, Onslow. <laughs> yeah, no problem. <laughs> Another delicious dinner in the making. Wow, fantastic. Well, Eloy, I'm starting to think that everybody, everybody's wondering where Wake is. Maybe you and I, you know, our, our early morning is usually pretty light. We should probably go check and see where he is. Sounds good. All right. Up on top of the deck, as you're getting ready to exit the Yeldon, you see uh, Nedra just off on her own, punching, trying to do her training, but she's not doing so hot since Wake's not there to teach her. She seems to be punching the air every now and again. She slips. <clears throat> ah, dang it. Mm. Nedra, hey. Oh, hey. Ha have she you wanders over to you. Have you seen your master Wake anywhere? Oh, no. He's uh, acting kind of nervous this morning, looking at a note. I don't know. Like, kind of wandered off. Uh... Uh... That way, or that way, or that way. <laughs> oh, Nedra, her and her sense of direction, am I right, Eloy? <laughs> well, it looks like we got a 50-50 shot. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, Nedra, do you want to come with us and help us look for him? I'm, I'm sure he'd be happy to see you. Well, yeah, sure, why not? <laughs> oh. She scampers, she uh, starts walking towards the uh, gang ramp, the gang plank. <laughs> Trips and stumbles down the gang. Whoa, watch your step there. <laughs> oh, she's, she still hasn't learned to control that demon of clumsiness that lives inside her. <laughs> Fun stuff. Fun stuff indeed. Well, fortunately, if we find Wake, he'll be able to talk some sense into her and help her, help her deal with this. And also hopefully have lunch ready, because even though that was a delicious breakfast, I'm starving. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> All right, so you're not quite sure which way Wake has run off to, so I need each of you to roll me a survival check, see if you can find some tracks, or if you want, it can be an intelligence check, or uh, investigation check. I'll uh, let either. I'll do survival. Yeah. Uh, 14. 15. No. You see some wear and tear in the bush here, in like, in like the tree line to the forest here and there, but... You're not sure what exactly would have been made by Wake. Okay. Um, you think that you see, like, uh, actually, Ezra, you said you rolled a 15? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you see a little bit of scraping, and some of the wood looks like it was a, a trident shape. So clearly that ah. must have been made by Wake's staff. So you think that must be the path he wandered down. Eloy, look. We can see here with the three-scrape pattern, it was a trident. You know how Wake likes to, loves to travel with his trusty trident. I think it's this way. You just... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I had something and then it went away. Yes. <laughs> so you guys wander through the woods. You're wandering through the path. Um, no sign of him yet. Hmm. Now, you've been walking for about ten minutes now. Uh, there's a clearing up ahead, though. I just start yelling, Wake! Awake! Are you here? Surf Sensei! Sensei! <laughs> <laughs> Wake! Calliope's running a kissing booth and nobody's in line. Help oh. her feel better about herself. Eloy, you trickster. That's not <laughs> happening. But good idea, though. <laughs> hey, maybe at the next port. <laughs> so you come upon the clearing, and I want you to roll a, uh, another investigation check for me. Just an investigation this time. Gotcha. 11. 17. Ooh. That's with your minus one. Yeah. Impressive. Mm. Eloy, it looks like there's been a bit of a scuffle here. Like, there's, there's matted down grass here and there, uh, even a, a few drops of a reb substance that you're not entirely sure what it is, but, you know, like, a, a few drops here and there of that. <laughs> and what's this? You pick up what looks to be a, some sort of bandage of some sort, like a, 
a thin, like a thin filament of wrapping. It's weird. What you got there, Eloy? Why, this, this looks like a, a non-branded adhesive medical strip. Hmm. Oh, not adhesive. It's, it's just a straight up bandage. Strange. Let me, let me take a look. I investigate it. Do it. 19. This can only mean one thing, Ezra. Your arch nemesis, Mumja. Eloy, I don't want to alarm you, but I think Wake might be in danger. This is a wrapping of Mumja. Mumja? The mummy who is also a ninja? Dun, 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 dun! Yes, the one in the, the same. The very same. <laughs> hey, was he a ninja before he died and then he got mummified, or was he a mummy who later learned the ninja arts? That's the mystery of Mumja. Some believe it happened at the same time. Well, something tells me we're going to find out today in this adventure. <laughs> you never know. Nedra, are you ready to get your fist a flying towards a mummy? If somebody messed with Surf Sensei, I'm ready to give them a clobbering. <laughs> Excellent. It looks like we're going to have to find Mumja. It is time for clobbering. That's what you always say, Nedra. <laughs> As you're wandering forward, uh, who rolled the, uh, you rolled the 19 on the investigation here, right? Uh, I rolled the yeah. 19 uh, investigating uh, the, the, the rabbit. Yeah. You rolled it for this. Yeah. yeah. As you're wandering forward, you actually stumble over a rock. <laughs> it has weird symbols on it. Symbols that roll an arcane. Knowledge arcane. Nine. No... <laughs> Flapping clue. <laughs> By the way, there's a rule here that if any of us swears, our next roll is on disadvantage. Oh. oh. So we, and we have to find a replacement word to fill it in. Because, of course, it's for the children. Yeah, the Saturday children. morning. <laughs> That's why we couldn't show that, that uh, mysterious red substance on screen that Absolutely. we get our uh, rating. <laughs> exactly. It's actually blue on screen. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, there yeah. we go. <laughs> uh, excuse me, Eloy. Mind if I take a look? Arcane. Uh, <laughs> Seven! Sure looks magical and weird. <laughs> this is a weird rock, but I don't know if it's going to help us. Maybe you can find somebody to help you back at the Yeldon. <laughs> <laughs> Red, Ziaka, what do you make of this? I hand it uh, off. Where do, you, where do you go to look for them? Um, I had, I had down. I'll tell you this. The, the Yeldon actually has a library now. Oh. Ooh. Well, I had I had first into like the kind of like the cabin area since uh, breakfast wasn't super long ago. So I'm gonna see if anyone's still down there. Yeah, it's still mid morning. Red Ziaka. Oh, what are you two blathering about? <laughs> out, wa out, out walks uh, Golfer, your what good are you? friend Golfer holding a a bottle of juice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what are you doing here? I'm trying to nap. <laughs> ah, that's great juice. <laughs> Golfer, it's pretty early for. Grape. Don't you think that you should? Don't you think you should probably, uh, you know, get a get a little walk in before you do this? Ah, it helps me get me walking legs in the morning, lad. Ah, very well. Oh, go for. It. I don't know if you'd know anything about this. Does this does this rock look like anything to you? Ech. I'm using my dice, not Zito's, because I'm used to them. <laughs> I should have unwrapped them though. <laughs> After I flippantly kind of toss it to him, I say, "Also, be careful. I think Mumja may be afoot." Fool! I even. Uh, first a reflex save to see if he catches it. Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, he can. Oh, 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 you said Mumja, lad. That I did. We found oh. one of his wrappings out in the out in the clearing, and oh, wait, this... can't be found. Oh, this can't be good. Magic ain't really my strong suit, but let me see what I got here. Yes, he's going to flip between Irish and Scottish quite a bit here. Don't worry. <laughs> it's Saturday morning. Yep. I ain't got no clue. Why don't you go find that red loss? Uh -uh. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> I'm assuming with a 19. <laughs> that's a good. That's a good idea. I was hoping she'd be down here. Have you seen her? Ugh, she's probably in the library. Sounds like a good so idea. Slamming his his room door. <laughs> now let me sleep. It's only 11:30. <laughs> that golfer. Always make sure to wake up bright and early, kids. <laughs> I start heading towards the library. <laughs> All right. Well, they're in the library. Uh, you see, uh, actually, uh, Red just sitting there. Reading. Pliskin's off in a corner smoking, actually, his pipe. It's, oh, okay. Yeah. It's, it's 80s. Yeah, okay. oh, all right, okay, good. <laughs> 80s cartoons. Was, wasn't worry. sure what our rules were there. It could be a bubble pipe. Yeah. Boop, yeah. Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> Red. Red, ah, yes. Red, are you Hello? busy? Hello. We, uh, I think there may be a problem. 
Wake can't be found, and we found, we found evidence of Mumja's involvement. Mumja. Oh, that fiend. The very same. We also found this rock, but Eloy and I can't decipher it. Well, let me see here. She says, looking at it. Hmm. I think I've seen something like this before. Hold on. She goes to the uh, bookshelf. Let me see if she can find the book she's looking for. So that was not a great roll. <laughs> Yeah, she finds the book. Oh, let me see. Flips through here. I'll give her advantage on the... Give her advantage on the... <laughs> yeah. Huh. This appears to be a rune of teleportation. Wake has been taken somewhere. Hmm. But from where? Hmm. She, uh... Does a little GM magic on it and... Uh-huh. Huh. I think you might be able to track it to its source. It doesn't seem like it went too far. This isn't a very powerful rune. Is there any way to activate it to just send us straight there? Oh no, its power's been burnt out, but it's leaving, like, it's definitely connected to somewhere close. I just, I wouldn't know how to track it. See a familiar little purple scamp on. I smell magic, I smell magic, 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 <laughs> magic! He pounces on the it, uh, rock. It, it, stop, stop, it, this is very, this is very important. <laughs> Yeah, it smells real good. It's magic. Uh-huh. If only we had some way to detect that magic. <laughs> if mm. only. Mm. There's no way that I can think of with my negative one intelligence. <laughs> mm. It, you stay here. Perhaps Ziaka would have an idea. Okay. <laughs> I'll wait here. Mm. Mm, magic. <laughs> that it. Wait. I've got it. Could we feed Mumja to it? Well, first we'd have to find Mumja. Oh, yeah. Eloy, come on. You have to think about the order of operations here. <laughs> okay, can't feed it to... Hmm. Ziaka! Ziaka! Are you around in this library? She slithers down from upstairs. <laughs> <laughs> Just kind of plops down from the upper level of the library. Yes. Ziaka, you slithery side check. Uh, modified 20. Uh, also modified 20. Okay. So, anyway, keep going. <laughs> <laughs> Very difficult perception check. All right. I, I, I hoist the rock in her direction. We're you're trying to hold, find... You're not holding a rock. Oh my goodness, did it, Mom did, just struck again! Did it, did it teleport away? What, what, did what teleport away? <laughs> falls out of her sleeve. <laughs> Ziaka! <laughs> I, pick, I pick up the rock. We're trying to trace the magic, the, the, the teleportation this rune may have, may have sent someone to. Wake could be in danger, and Mumja is very likely involved. Hmm. Hmm. Her little tongue sticks out and kind of like brushes it a little. Ugh, evil. Ugh, evil. Well, mm. that confirms one thing. Mumja is definitely involved. Hmm. I don't know if it's Mumja's brand of evil, though. <laughs> what? <laughs> she takes a look at it and basically tells you the same thing Red tells you that, like, yeah, it, it teleported. Teleported it's gotta somewhere. Be somewhere but... nearby, like, because it's it it has a range of like less than a few, like less than ten kilometers, basically. Okay. Like they are in the area. Maybe <laughs> you'd be able to hear around because. Wherever Mumja goes, there's usually news abound. That's true. Eloy, do you have any sort of way to, to use your musical powers to perhaps send out <laughs> some sort of song to get Mumja's attention? I mean, I could, I could just start going out into the forest and knocking down trees. <laughs> That would get attention. However, the forest, the, the forest is an important resource, and we can't just go knocking it down willy-nilly. That's well, true. you know, two people on board that are really good at f putting their word, uh, their ear to the ground. Skrung! Hmm. But where could he be? He might I be somewhere in port. In fact, you, you might. <laughs> uh, roll, roll, me, roll me just a general knowledge with advantage, because you know him. Ooh, net 20. Ooh. All right, you, you know Skrung. And if it's one thing you know about Skrung, he loves hanging around the taverns. That's Skrung. He's probably at the tavern already, despite it not even being noon. Let's go check on him. <laughs> <laughs> you wander into town. 
and you find your way over to the ta- you find your way over to the uh, familiar tavern, the uh, your your familiar local tavern. Yes, the one that you always. The go one, to. the si- one with the big tavern the sign. Big on the tavern back. sign. <laughs> Yeah, the the town tavern. Yes. The town the township tavern. <laughs> the wonderful township tavern. S- I open the doors. Yeah, Strong's in there. He's playing cards. All right. He's playing cards with some uh some normal some a couple of humans and uh what looks to be a half orc. And he's not doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, Scrung, you mind helping me out with something? Ah, give me a second. These guys are cheating. But uh, I think this next hand's got me. <laughs> Come on, boys. Put him in. Put him in. Yeah. Scrapes it all in. <laughs> <laughs> Suckers. All right. I got to go talk to these schmucks. What do you need? Have you heard anything about Mumja? Whoa, 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 whoa. We don't say that name too loud around here. You knew all that. It's urgent. <laughs> be right back, boys. It's urgent, Scrung. Wake might be in danger. Ah, that idiot. Always wandering into trouble. Yeah, you know him. He's, he's like he goes looking for it or something. Eh, all right, let's see. Oh, I, I may have heard a thing or two around here, okay? But you didn't hear it from me unless somebody wants to offer a reward, in which case you did, and send them to me. Obviously. All right. So... I heard that Mumja has parked his pyramid somewhere around here. I hear he parked it out past the tre- like you know you go past the trees, and if you get to a tall hill, I hear you should be able to see the tip of it from there, up to the top the of the tallest trees. hill. Thank you, Scrung. Your help has been invaluable. All right. Good luck with your game. Thank you. He turns back. That, now, that, where were we? Oh, sorry. That means very valuable. It, I know it doesn't sound like it, but it does. <laughs> I, I, I know, I I know Eloy. I, it's one I of Eloy's it. vocabulary words. Don't yeah, worry it's about it. From a word of the day calendar. Good job, Eloy. You stay in school. <laughs> stay in school. <laughs> he says, staring directly at the camera. <laughs> we start making our way towards. All right. He, he turns. He turns back around to go finish uh, yeah. finish his game, but the people have disbanded. I, ah, come on! We were just starting. <laughs> Don't worry, Scrung. You'll get your game sooner or later. Ah, I'm going to go see who I can wrangle and dice in the alley. <laughs> Just don't play with strangers. <laughs> Those are the best marks. <laughs> <laughs> well, Eloy, you ready to head towards the tallest trees on the hill? I'm ready, says Nedra. She slips. Poof! <laughs> oh, that was a good one. Almost had it that time. <laughs> Careful, Nedra. There's lots of there, there are lots of dishes in here. Would be a horrible shame for you to have said tripped into someone in the waitstaff carrying a stack of plates. <laughs> that would have been bad. Good thing I didn't do that. You should always respect the people in the service industry. <laughs> <laughs> right, you are, Nedra. Oh, remember, kids, a twenty percent tip is a minimum. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. These people make less than minimum wage. <laughs> All right, so uh, you... <laughs> Many of them have to moonlight as Saturday morning cartoon writers just to make ends meet. <laughs> <laughs> Cartoons, that's kids stuff. <laughs> Let's go check on those forests or trees. All right, you guys, you, you guys, tra- you guys uh, walk through the forest. It, uh, uh, give, me, give me a survival check just for navigation's sake. Uh, modified 20. 15. All right, Eloy, uh, you... You know, you, don't, you haven't been through a lot of forests in your life, especially growing up on the hillside and the mountainous areas, but you, you know your way here. Like, this, this is a familiar land. This is where the Yeldon comes to dot quite a bit. Like, you, you're, you're familiar with these woods. In fact, uh, you've actually gone out hunting with Onslow here a few times, especially in the special Onslow episode. Mm. You remember the one where he had to deal with that guy that was, you know, just getting a little too friendly. Mm, yep. We... That was a very special episode. <laughs> <laughs> we learned all about uh, how you're the only one who gets to decide who sees your gator bits. Yep. <laughs> oh. <laughs> all right. So you wander through the woods, and uh, you, you make it through pretty clearly, and uh, you get you get out into another clearing, and from there you you can see three hills, each of varying sizes. So you decide to walk to the tallest one. All right. He said we could probably see it from the top of the tree, so I'm going to try to climb it. I'm assuming this is an acrobatics to climb? Sure. Okay. Uh, 18. 
All right, you climb up the tallest tree, and yeah, you can still see that di- giant hill in front of you that you need to climb. Oh. <laughs> the hill's that way. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we head towards Good the hill. Job, oh. <laughs> ah, Good right. job, Ezra. Good job, Ezra! Yells, yells Nedra. Thanks, Nedra. I just wanted to make sure we were going in the right direction. You can never be too sure, kids. <laughs> Always search for a high point when you're lost in the woods. Ah, this reminds me of being back home on Mount Friendly. <laughs> what was that like, Eloy? Tell me about it. <laughs> oh, it was the best. Just, just chocolate slides every day. <laughs> every day you'd look up, oh, chocolate coming down. An amazing place. Why would you ever leave? <laughs> because sometimes friends are the best chocolate. <laughs> ah, that's right, Eloy. Let's head towards that hill. All right, you wander up the hill. You know, making this conversation as you do. Yeah. <laughs> Talking about your past adventures. Mm-hmm. Uh, especially your favorite adventure, the time when... Oh, man, don't you remember that time when, when you, me, and Wake, we, uh, we, were, we were stuck on that island that was actually one big school, and we were trapped in detention, and we had to sneak out without making any noise? Oh, boy, that, that big bag of Hostess Fruit Pies sure did come in handy that day. Oh, man, we distracted all kinds of bullies that week. <laughs> it was delightful. It was indeed a delightful adventure. But as you make it to the top of the hill, I need each of you to roll me a perception check. 17. 21. Hmm. Ezra, off in the distance, you see the glint, the, the glint of what looks to be sandstone glimmering off in the distance. It's, it's odd. It's in the middle of a green, grassy field. Eloy, you believe you can kind of make it out too, but uh, to you it just kind of looks like a a bit more of like a patch of sand, but to Ezra, he can he can make out the very tip of something. Uh, Eloy, I don't want to alarm you, but I believe I may see something that could possibly resemble a pyramid. <gasps> it's in that direction. Do you see that kind of sandy, patchy color there? Well, that's a tip we can't afford to ignore. I agree. We should probably head that way. Nedra. Well, I don't know. Time is of the essence, and that looks pretty far. It's true, but I suppose if we stay here trying to think of a way to get there faster, it might even be slower than just <laughs> heading that way now and hoping for the best. What do you think? Could we sail around with the Yeldon or perhaps find the locals and see if they have some sort of means of transportation? Ezra, I want you to roll me a knowledge check. In fact, with advantage. Ooh. Good thing I have that advantage. It didn't help. <laughs> hey, double advantage, Nezra. This is something that you really know. <laughs> <laughs> I consistently no, got Ezra's worse. Ezra's just having a brain fart. Eloy, help him out some. <laughs> Eight? What? You, he assisted my 11. What if, hmm, the Yeldon, it reminds me of something. Maybe there's something back at the Yeldon we can do. I don't know. This, this thin air at the top of this very tall hill is really just killing the brain cells today. <laughs> Pyramid. Triangles. Yeldon. Eloy, I have an idea. Let's get back to the Yeldon. All right. <laughs> you travel to the Yeldon. Ah, boys, you're back. How's it going? Did you find that fishy boy yet? We saw what we believe to be the pyramid, but it's a far distance away. I'm trying to think if there's a faster oh, way to get there. Let's get to the transportation deck! Of course, the transportation deck! <laughs> Why didn't I think of that? Thank you, Gulf. <laughs> I don't know what you think of. <laughs> ah, delicious apple juice! <laughs> Again with the juice, Gulfer. I mean... It's perfectly normal to stay hydrated, especially on a hot summer day. Absolutely. <laughs> let's head to the transportation deck before Gulfer gets... Too much juice. <laughs> All right, just strap yourselves in. It'll be good. Just uh, stand there, there, and there. Ah, that's light. Yeah, that looks good. Stand on that X. Yeah, right there. We're all standing there. You're, I stand, look in- you're each standing on an X. All right. Now, uh, where did you say you saw it? Uh, I described to him where I saw it from the top of the tree. Ah, okay. So it's about... Uh, three kilometers of three, three and ten kilometers high. He does a little bit of fiddling. Just a little more fiddling. <laughs> That's much better fiddling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. See you in a few. Chunk. Oh, by the way, is anyone else on a car? <laughs> no, nope, uh, you're, you're each slammed into a tube. Like, there's just a tube around you. And this is your least favorite part. Your <sighs> least favorite part. Elo, yours is perfectly shaped for a donkey man, too. It's great. I hate this uh, part. Lord Shannon, three! 
T! Y'all got your parachutes, right? Uh, One! Pooh! <laughs> a large cannon comes up out of the Elden. Pooh! Mario 64 style fires <laughs> you guys. I hate this part! Yeah, this is great! Yells Nedra. <laughs> And uh, yes, you you have your parachutes. Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah, he he set you up, but I do need each of you to make an acrobatics check while you're flying through the air to see if you can straighten yourself 20. out. Nice. 14. Not even fear can mess me up. Fourteen, you make it. Yeah, you just. <laughs> oh, okay, I got it. Got it. Little 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 less a uh, little less aerodynamic as a donkey man, but you're good. And meanwhile, Nedra goes into a spiral. Woo! <laughs> All right, uh, you, you're, you're just about to get over the uh, pyramid, so I think it's about time to pull that chute. And of course, the natural wonders sigil, the flag, which will be premiered next week when, when uh, Zito gets back, by the way, for those of you at home, uh, appears above your backs, just yeah, as you glide down. Meanwhile, Nedra, Make sure to try to not land on your head, Nedra! Duck and roll! Yeah, I'm gonna have her do an acrobatics check because there's no way she's going to, because she nat one to that. <laughs> yeah, natural wonders. <laughs> By the way, uh, the cartoon version of the natural wonders is spelled with a W because in universe, O N E doesn't make sense. <laughs> her acrobatics check, significantly better. She's still <laughs> taking a bit of damage. <laughs> but it's a cartoon, so not a crap ton of damage. <laughs> As I'm drifting down, I'm kind of just. That's still pretty bad. Feeling kind of, kind of ill because I just I hate heights. <sighs> <sighs> um, yeah, as you're drifting down, since you say that, all right, I want you to roll a small Constitution save as a gust of wind comes in and kind of hits you. Ah, natural one. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. <laughs> Oh, jeez. The natural <laughs> wonders ride again. All right. For uh, the next uh, dexterity check you guys make for the next basically five, uh, ten in-game minutes, it's going to be a disadvantage. Okay. Because okay. you're going to be dizzy, and uh, you both throw up. <laughs> I'll feel like that one time Gopher let me try his magic juice. <laughs> his magic dizzy juice. <laughs> he hadn't kept his orange juice in the fridge. It was a big... <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, I have a vomit bag there ready, so yep. you don't you don't see anything but the <laughs> theater of the mind. <sighs> you land safely on the ground about a hundred yards out. Uh, you see Nedra's leg sticking out right next to where you are. <laughs> All right, Eli, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to pull her out. Are you ready? Uh, no, but okay. All right. All right, I need you to both make strength checks because I assume you're working on her together. Yes. Yep. Don't worry. With my great big muscles, I'm sure I'll be able to provide plenty of help, Eloy. <laughs> he says, flexing as they do that little yeah. cartoon <laughs> meow, meow, meow thing. <laughs> I get a 12. Uh, four, uh, 15. All right. Together, along with Nedra, kind of rig wriggling her way out, she pops out. <laughs> that was great. Let's go again. <laughs> We'll have plenty of chances to go again. After all, we use the transportation deck every every time. She shakes her head. Bugs and stuff just start flying out of her ears. A bird <laughs> flies out of her hair for some reason. Unknown why, because she was in the ground. Probably because she hit it on the way down. I was going to say, she probably hit it as she was flying through the air. Yes. A hundred yards away, there lies Mumja's Pyramid. It stands tall, massive, in front of you. Kind of gaudy in this oddly grassy looking area. You're not entirely sure how it got here. Maybe it teleported, maybe not, who knows. Well, one thing's for sure. Mom does not want to, to try and hide. This seems like he's out in plain sight, almost as if he's inviting us. Eloy, be ready for traps. Nedra, you too. Don't worry. Okie dokie. I'll, I'll cool his hot heart with a cool jazz solo. I like the sound of that. Or maybe I'll, I'll heat his cold heart with a face melting solo. Ooh, also good. All right. Now, how do you approach? I I'm gonna roll investigation and try and get a, a good look at the place. All right. I'm gonna say that's more of a perception. Well, fine. That also works. Uh, ba -ba -ba. fourteen. All right. It stands approximately um, at your best estimate, probably maybe. 
I don't know, 100 feet, 200 feet tall. Okay. Uh, with my with my check, could I like see any like obvious entrances or or like ways in, like any any sort of vents, doors, cracks, holes? You see a couple of what looked to be like uh, what was your check again? Uh, 16. You see basically like a giant gaudy door that's enshrined with uh, old, you know, uh, stereotypical Egyptian like set. Uh, like set statues, Anubis statues, kind of holding up pillars that beckon towards an entrance. Um, Eloy, if you want to make a perception yeah. check too, maybe you can see a couple of other things. Also, on yeah. top of that, have we? I'm, I mean, we we all clearly know Mumja. Are we familiar with his pyramid at all? You have never been to his okay. base of operations. He has only ever attacked you in the okay. field. We have only played defense against him. Got yes, it. in fact, uh, this is only your second meeting of Mumja. <gasps> I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna try and like tap some of the bricks, see if I can find any that are oh, loose. Oh, so you're already next to it. Uh, this is from pretty far away. Oh, right okay. Now. Yeah. So All if right. You wanna... I'll see what I can see from a distance then. Ooh, 27. All right, 27. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a little higher up, you can see a few windows. Uh, like it would obviously involve trying to climb the pyramid a bit, which, you know, it's it's at a bit of an angle. It would be a little difficult of a climb. Not the most challenging in the world, but you're not sure what those windows lead to. Like, you can't quite see in them, but you know they are there. You know they are technically ways in. Although you're not sure if there's anything solid there, like further back in, or if it's just open air, like allowing breeze to come through. Well, there's some windows up top. I mean, he's going to expect us through the front door. That's true. We do have grappling hooks, or at least I have one. <laughs> are you a... <laughs> as, as do I. <laughs> That maybe trying to trying to scale this pyramid might be the best way possible. You said you got a 27, right? Yeah. Yeah, you can also see uh, your, your, with your amazing uh, donkey man <laughs> donkey eyes. Donkey vision! Yeah, so with your amazing donkey vision, <laughs> you see that uh, inside the door, there are actually a few minions there. They look a little tired. Uh, like, they're just kind of, like, leaning back against stuff, kind of fanning themselves. It's a hot day. Uh, and they didn't stay as hydrated as they needed to, so they're a lot <laughs> more tired than they should be for this early in the day. But, you know, it's it's... Getting on noon, and that sun is, like, beaming down, hitting the earth, and just kind of reflecting back at him. You know, I have a thought, Eloy. His minions are right there. We're still not 100% sure Wake is even here. Maybe, if we just ask nicely, they'll, they'll let us know. I could play my friendship song, Adam. Nedra, what do you think? Yeah. <laughs> right, are we going to punch him or what? <laughs> punch them. With our nice words, perhaps. I, I mean, okay, but plan B, though? Plan B. Always plan B. <laughs> yes. Plan bunch of punch. <laughs> I head up there directly, trying to make myself clear and unarmed. All right, you're making yourself clear. Uh, as you get to within about 50 yards of it, uh, one of them just kind of, like, nudges the other. What? Salutations, friends. <laughs> I'm but you can uh, roll a perception check. Okay. Uh, 17. Is he literally just walking up here? Like, <laughs> what is happening? Is this some sort of trick? <laughs> Hello, <laughs> friends. I mean you no harm. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and cast friends on them. You now get advantage uh, what's, on what's, charisma uh, checks. What's the range on that? Um, once we... Let's see. What is the range on that? Um, it doesn't say. I think it's like 30 feet, so as soon as we... If, if it doesn't say, then usually it's like within earshot or something. Yeah. Yeah, so like, as, as soon as we close to range, which we'll have to get within that to All talk right, to I'll them anyway. I'll, I'll say like, maybe we should, like, do you want to go tell some of the guys? I don't think, this is just weird, man. Like, what is he doing? <laughs> they, they might be looking for... Excuse me, we're, we're looking for our friend. I was just wondering if you'd seen him. No! <laughs> That's a shame. However, you, have, you, you seem to have a, a giant monolithic pyramid, and I feel like I would, I would get a good vantage from it. Uh, would, would you allow me to enter and perhaps uh, look out? I see that there are some windows up top. I feel like I could get a good view of the area and just kind of a nice panoramic view to perhaps see if I could find my friend. Just whispering to each other. No, I don't think that's going to happen! Insight. I want to see if I believe him. For which one? <laughs> <laughs> the no. <laughs> which no? The we haven't seen him. Okay. Go ahead and roll insight. Uh, 14. All right. 14. Ver 
Yeah, he sounded pretty convincing. Sounded pretty damn convincing. <laughs> Eli, I don't think they're gonna let us in. Could you could you maybe cast friendship just to uh, uh, encourage them? Yeah, one of them's starting to kind of like back away and wander off like down the hallway. Hey, hey, uh, excuse me, excuse me, sir. Uh, I, he's, I, he starts running. <laughs> Metro Plan B. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, you guys made it within probably about fifty feet. So Nedra charges at him. Yeah. <laughs> Holy sh! <laughs> Holy shnikes! <laughs> Says the one. Go 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 go! All right, let's see. I'm gonna give Nedra one attack on this dude. Or no, this guy gets a uh, surprise round because uh, the other dude is the one she's going after. <laughs> Looks at the camera. Remember, kids, the natural wonders never start a fight. We are only here to investigate. <laughs> yeah, no. This this guy this guy uh, miss this guy missed Nedra. Like, oh, oh god, oh god! He's like scrambling for his weapon. <laughs> Pulls out a uh, pulls out a set of. Uh, by the way, just to paint a picture of this mm -hmm. guy, he's got kind of like a mummy wrapping headdress, mummy wrapping for the face. You can see his eyes. Uh, he's got like kind of cyan like and cyan and gold like straps around his arms. His shirt is like cyan. He's got like a little mummy belt with a little mummy clasp on it. He looks like a, basically a foot nin foot ninja cross a mummy. <laughs> okay, ninja. Foot and, ninja uh, yeah, that's what they look like. And uh, he's trying to like pull from his belt these two clubs that are strapped together by a chain, but they're wrapped in bandages. <laughs> I like it. They're called mumchucks. Oh. By the way, they named them. <laughs> Exciting. <laughs> oh god! Oh, oh shoot! Like uh, she's run by. Uh, she's gonna get a swing on this dude. <laughs> Punches him square in the face. He goes crashing into the wall next to him. <laughs> Just kind of like collapse to the ground. <sighs> let me uh, actually let me roll damage on that. Her damage is pretty sick, but <laughs> do, 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 boom. Yeah, he collapses. <laughs> That's what happens when you lie, friends. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. I'm not lying. Just looked. Oh boy, uh, this is my first day, and I just really I I, I was oh. <laughs> roll intimidation with advantage. Great rolls today. Uh, <laughs> ten. Ten versus a nat twenty. Like, look, man, it's my first day. I'm just, I'm just here. I'm just trying to do a good job, trying to pay for my family. Uh, it's, they offer a good plan here. I'm not harm. I'm, I'm not here to do any harm. I just look. I, I, I didn't see. I didn't see your friend. I swear. Oh, well, you might not have, but some of your friends might have. Tell me the way through here. Uh, oh boy, uh, I'm pretty sure that's not part of the job. Uh, uh, I don't want to get fired. Eloy, do you have anything to make sure our friend here doesn't run away to warn any of his other pals? I do, says Nedra. <laughs> oh, God, no. I mean, I got a lot of rope. <laughs> that seems like a good idea. We'll tie him up and make him an example for everyone else. Oh. <laughs> And we'll bring him with us. No. <laughs> Just in case there's danger ahead, he might have something to say about it. <laughs> I, I don't want to have to do this. He pulls out his mumchucks. <laughs> <laughs> What's your AC, Grant? 15. Whack across the face. <laughs> Take one damage. <laughs> <laughs> don't make me do it again. <laughs> he swings a second time. Misses. Ooh. Now, sir, I tried to be nice. I'm sorry, I'm just doing my job. <laughs> Nedra plan B. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> she, turns around. she turns around and she's already standing there. I'm going to roll intimidation for her. <laughs> he just, just starts crying <laughs> as she punches him. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> Poof! You, you, like, it's just a pan back. You hear a poof, and you see, like, birds flying away. <laughs> <laughs> and he's just, like, in a hole. <laughs> That's why honesty is the best policy. Uh, I'm going to, would, would it be perception or investigation to try and, like, look for a... A you can make a, uh, make a perception check first if you want, just to hear if anybody's like heard any of this rumbling out here. 
All right. Uh, ba, 22. You don't hear any stomping feet coming down the way. You don't hear any running. So you think you're in the clear there. All right. Uh, you, as you look in here, there are it, it kind of branches two ways, left and right. Um, both hallways look very similar. You're kind of like directly in the middle of the pyramid. Uh, and they kind of like hook off like in a V-shaped pattern going in different directions in this pyramid. After, uh, well, first of all, when you enter, it's just like grand hall. Like you see like statues everywhere. There's cats and there are two uh, pictures just hanging on scrolls of Mumja. One where he's just sitting there in like a, far, like in a pharaoh's sort of like headdress just like holding what looks like holding like an onk in his hand, and another one uh, of Mumja just kind of like sitting back and like doing like basically a kung fu pose. Well, if there was any doubt that this was Mumja's pyramid, I'd say it's gone. That or a huge Mumja fan. Yeah, I'm I'm like I don't know, eighty percent sure this is probably Mumja's pyramid. It makes sense. Yeah, and everything's like very like there's a lot of gilded stuff everywhere. Uh, if Ziaka was here, you could tell she'd be salivating. I mean, none of it looks like it's visibly like able to just pry away because it all looks like it's embedded in the walls and stuff. And it looks like they mixed a bunch of sandstone with some like gold rock and just kind of made this grand hall of opulence for Quite Mumja. The fancy decoration for such a terrible villain. But yes, at the end of this hall, you have a branching hallway shape, shaping out in like kind of a V formation from each of the corners. Uh, one goes to the left, the other goes to the right. Eloy, which direction do you think we should go? Left or right? My donkey senses are telling me right. Hmm. Have they ever been wrong? I don't remember your donkey senses being wrong, except for that one time. You remember the time. Yes, tell us about that time, Eloy. That time that your donkey senses failed you for the first time. It's, you know, we were looking for the collective one's heart, and little did I know that the real heart that had been stolen was when Ziaka stole mine. <gasps> no, I'm just kidding. I was just doing an impression of Wake. Did you uh, like it? It was a good one. I liked it. <laughs> Funny stuff. Good impression. Good impression, Eloy. I'm sure Wake will appreciate it when you find him. You know that deep in your heart. That you must tell him that at some point. Well, so all right. Let's follow your donkey senses. or right. Left or right. I say right. All right, you wander towards the right passageway. Because it would be a bad idea to split up. Kids, when you're traveling to unfamiliar territory, always remember to stick close to your friends. Stick together, buddy system. Yes, absolutely. Always have a buddy. Or if you're lucky, like me, have two buddies. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) So we head down the right path. All right, now, uh, how, how are you proceeding? Are you just walking normal? Uh, I am, I'm going very slow, and uh, I'm going to actually try to, would it be investigation to see if there are like, any traps like along the walls or yeah, something? Or? Like a, a, I'd say that's kind of a perception deal. Okay. Thought that was a one at first, but it's a seven. <laughs> uh, so with my bonus, it's a 13. Hmm, looks clear. Everything looks great. All right, everything seems fine this way, Eloy. I'll go first. I just stride confidently forward. Striding confidently. Yep, striding confidently. All right. <laughs> okay, uh, as you get close, uh, as you get further down the hallway, you hear a, a, a sound coming from ahead. A ting, 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 followed by a little bit of uh, followed by a little bit of muttering. <laughs> Is it just straight ahead or like around a corner or what? It's, you, as far as you can tell, it's just down the hallway. Just down the hallway? All right, I kind of I kind of slow my step and go more into stealth. All right, stealth check. Nine. Actually, ten. You forget to add the one. Yeah, I guess that would be ten as well. All right, ten for each of you. I'm going to roll for Nedra real quick. She, mistress of shadows, apparently. <laughs> Not a nat 20, but pretty high up. She's like, like, you, you don't hear a clop of her hooves. You, you meanwhile, we're tiptoeing, Eloy's. but it's still tink, tink, tink. All right, let me, let me roll perception for the room you're coming up on. <laughs> no, there's pretty fucking <laughs> preoccupied. For, they, n- there's no change in demeanor as you approach. A pretty what? <laughs> what was that? They're pretty what? Preoccupied. Occupied? Oh, no. <laughs> well, 
That'll be on my next roll. <laughs> okay. Pretty fruit and preoccupied. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for holding me true. Oh. I wasn't sure if it. I, 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 I wasn't sure if it was only characters couldn't swear no, or, no, no, or me also. either. Okay. Me either. Like, luckily, I'm not a narrator here. Yeah. But pretty fruit and preoccupied. <laughs> but I'll get disadvantage on their next roll. Okay. But don't worry. This one. <laughs> no Couldn't need. get much more disadvantaged and disadvantaged. Yeah, no, they're than they're this. very preoccupied, yeah. but uh, as you get closer, let, let me get one more perception check out of you guys. Because you still hear the tink, tink, tink. Doing real rough rolls tonight. Uh, eight. Eight? Eight's, eight's good enough. Like, you're close enough. You're kind of like around the corner from this doorway. Eloy, you're just like, you're, you're like, oh man, these halls really echo. They're really <laughs> echoey. Like, they're nice. You think you might be able to play like a great song here, but it's probably not a great idea right now. <laughs> but it's got that kind of like shower acoustics going, you know? <laughs> At least this specific part of the hallway that you're in. Uh, but yeah, Ezra, like through the echo, you can kind of hear them like going as the guy's going, tink, tink, tink. Look, man, can you just hurry up with that? Uh, do you want to like peek in or see it all? Yes. I'd like you. I'd like you to roll an additional stealth. Now there's something I can work with. Uh, modified twenty. All right, modified twenty. Uh, Eloy, are you peeking in as well? Yeah, and modified twenty. All right. Hey. All right. You both like Ezra's head down, Eloy's head just above that, and Nedra's head just above that. <laughs> You can kind of see, like, uh, in this room, it's probably like an 8x8 eight eight room. Uh, from where you are, uh, you get another perception check, because now that you're looking in there, it's kind of with advantage. You see different things. 20, uh, 21. 21, 23? Yep. All right, yeah. There are uh, pretty much five of Mumja's minions just in here. There are uh, two preoccupied around a table in the middle. One's working with a chisel and a hammer. Uh, Picking at what looks to be Wake's uh, tridents. He's, they're trying to pry his gemerald off of the front of it. Oh, no. And you can see uh, two of them, uh, one of them just kind of like napping in a chair in the back corner, and two of them uh, in, the op, uh, in the kind of perpendicular corner, sitting at a table just playing some, uh, playing some dice or mahjong or something. You can't quite make out the game. Uh, but the two that are sitting at the table, tink, 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 look, man, can you just hurry up? You've been at this for an hour already, okay? Like, I don't want to be the one to have to tell Mumja that I broke the crystal, okay? Would you like to be the, uh, would you like to be the one, or do you want me to take my time? Eloy, we gotta get in there uh, fast. Fine, I have an idea. Fine, just, just do what you can. Okay, fine. Tink, tink, Using my tink, master's tink. ring. Ah, uh, the master's ring comes into play with the Gemerald of Mirrors. I, pr I cast Invisibility. Oh, Ezra, whoosh, disappears. All right. I, I, I rush in there and try to just okay. grab the spear. Okay, are you, are you, rush, are, are you uh, like uh, rushing in there, or are you going to try to like sneak in there? Because they I'm, can still hear you. Okay, I'm going to sneak in there then. Okay. Nat 20. Oh, oh. Boom. You are not only one with the shadows, but uh, like this guy, he's got like kind of a grip on it too. So if you grab it, he's going to notice. Okay. Is there anything that you'd want to do to distract them or get them away from it? Is there anything any of you can do to distract them or get them away from it? <laughs> I mean, I, I guess I could, but I don't know if my master's ring, I already cast I mean, you, 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 can, you can definitely grab it, and that would lead you to like kind of a tug-of-war scenario yeah. where you're... Well, I was going to shake it and basically go, I'm the ghost of the Gemerald! Get off the spear! I mean, I can... Okay, I <laughs> I'll do that. All right. We can roll with this. <laughs> uh, roll performance. And with advantage because you're invisible. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna cast a minor illusion in there and make the spear glow as he starts All to right. do that. I like it. I like it. All right, uh, twenty three. Twenty three. Um, all right, with that, uh, let's, you let's are not the note. wielder of the Gemerald! Hands off, knave! <laughs> all right, let me see. Uh, first of all, the guy that was asleep, he's like, what's, what's going on? Are we haunted? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, he, he believes you. <laughs> Other, you said 23? Yes. Uh, that dude believes you. That dude believes it. <laughs> this dude's like, whoa, a ghost! <laughs> <laughs> Just rattling the spear. Uh, one of the guys playing cards is like, another one? What? What? Like, seems, le seems, seems, un less, seems less unshaken, less unshaken sure. by it, but it's like, I, okay, this is weird. One of us go tell Mumji about this, or Cleo, or something. Uh, other guy playing cards. 
That's probably a good idea. <laughs> uh, so what, 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 what do you want to do with this? Are you trying to scare them? I'm, I'm trying to scare them so I can just basically take it out of the room without, like, and All right, like, the, you they, stay they, here! Okay, they, they believe you, so uh, <laughs> roll intimidation real quick with advantage. Uh, 19. All right, I'll roll the important one first. Whoa! The guy lets go. Like, his hammer and sickle, or like his hammer, hammer and chisel fall to the ground. Tink, tink, tink. The spear is floating there. <laughs> this guy is scared. Uh, yeah, the guy at the car table is like, I think somebody should tell Mumja about this. This is, this is like, he's, he's not as scared. His buddy, like, yeah, but I'm not going to be the one to walk past it. <laughs> uh... Guy who's just waking up, he gets disadvantaged for being... St- yeah, he's... Ah! He just woke like, up and just sees a ghost holding a spear. A small puddle appears under him. <laughs> Nondescript. He and the something. other guy, he's... Uh, yeah, he's, he's just like, okay, okay, what... Sorry, sorry, we didn't mean to hurt you, Mr. Gemerald. Uh, p- please don't hurt us. Please don't hurt us. They Fools! <laughs> you will only be spared if you tell me where the true owner of the Gemerald is. Okay, okay, okay. Just please don't hurt us. Oh, oh God, Mom's just gonna, Mom's just gonna have our heads for this. You will rue the day. <laughs> what Mumja has in store for you is nothing compared to the might of the ancient Gemeralds. All right, the one guy that was a little more uh, stand upish <laughs> about this kind of gets up. Investigation check of five. He doesn't see shit. <laughs> okay. Um, look, Mr. Gemerald, we, we're we're just doing our jobs here, man. Uh, like we're we're sorry. We we like we, we were just told what to do. Uh, the guy that uh, the guy that like you're trying to get information out of them, right? Yes. Uh, roll me one more intimidation check for the information. Uh, modified twenty. All right. Okay, uh, let me roll against. Yeah. Okay, look, the guy you're looking for, I, I, like, I, I was not one of the ones that personally brought him here. Uh, like, he's just back that way. If you go down the other hall, uh, you, you'll, you'll probably see him. Like, sorry, like, we, we didn't mean to do nothing. Uh, just <laughs> uh, please do not. Uh, if, if you want to fly back to your master, that's fine, but uh, just please don't. Don't hurt us. Your compliance is noted. Right. You shall be spared. And I run out at full speed with with, with the like with you the point spear. it. And just, just, yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna give them a perception check real Go quick because now that you're running, yeah, they'll be able to hear me. I understand that. All right. Uh, I want you to make a perception check. Uh, fifteen. Nah, you got it scot free. Right. Like you're just running. Tuk, tuk, tuk. All right, let's go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> All right, you start making a beeline back down the hallway. Yes. Like you're giggling to yourself. Ha <laughs> ha! We did it. All right, we did it. Part one, safe. <laughs> and a wall in front of you, shoom, slams down. <sighs> Zounds! I knew it was too easy. What do you do? I uh, I start just like. Press, touching the wall, looking for like a like a trigger of some sort. Shoom! The wall behind you slams down. You are now in a basically five by five square room here. Uh, you know you're between two flame sister or two flame sconces, so you have lighting. Uh, doesn't look like there's any real. D- uh, make a perception check or an investigation. I'm sorry. Eleven. Three. There's no discernible way out of here. Nedra starts punching at yeah, the walls. Yeah, I was going to say, Nedra, can you start punching these walls? Suddenly, s- sand <gasps> starts trickling in from the ceiling and piling at your feet. This Eloy doesn't look good, fellas. shouts out his beloved catchphrase. Oh, no! And we fade to black. <laughs> His beloved catchphrase, oh no, <laughs> as we fade to black. <laughs> this episode of Natural Wonders is brought to you by Legitimate Larry's. For all your arcane needs, mention this ad and get 1,000 copper off your first purchase of 10,000 gold or more. With savings like these, it's gotta be legitimate. And generous donations and subscriptions from viewers like you. We'll be right back after this. 
Ahoy, wonders, and welcome back. Uh, the children are still sitting in front of their scry tech scrying orb, watching the adventures as the commercial breaks come to a close. Uh, they've gathered a few more snacks. They're can't ready pause for more the VHS adventures. You, can't, the you can't pause it. You can't pause it. They, they were just, you know, they went. No, All they the commercials were, they, were they running. Were, they were recording, and they paused their recording when the commercials oh, come yeah, up. So, so, you, can, so on the rewatch, you don't have to deal with the commercial break. That's, gotcha. That's thinking with the noodle. All right, they got their snack cakes. They're ready. They're sitting down, crisscross, like, you know, they got their pillows in front of them, in front of the orb, while I'm sitting back. It's great. We fade back in on Eloy's patented catchphrase close up on his face. Oh, no! Oh, no is Sand. right, Eloy. Sand is pouring in all over us. It's starting to pile up all around you, and I need both of you to make another investigation check as Nedra fails that, so she's going to start punching the walls. 11. Net 20. Hey. Eloy. Through some magical <laughs> nonsense that you don't comprehend, <laughs> your brain spots. It looks to be a little, like, you see the spots where the sand are coming in, and as you look around the wall, you notice one spot where sand is not coming in, and it seems to be on one of the walls that slammed down in front of you. There is a, a hole with clearance of about, I don't know, four or five inches. Nothing that you could fit through. But, man, it looks like something there. There's... I, I don't know what it means, but maybe can, can we try and get like an arm through that? Maybe there's a <laughs> switch, a lever, or something. The sand is about up to your knees. In fact, dun 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 dun. dun, dun. <laughs> I can't see it if it's there. I'm gonna put it here and hold it up so <laughs> I can see it. Uh, the sand is starting to pile up right now. It's probably like covering your ankles. And yeah, I want you guys to figure this out. Nedra punches the wall for. <laughs> you just hear it thunder. It shakes. A little bit more sand starts piling through. Nedra, can you reach up through that hole? Hmm. She looks up. <laughs> Makes another jump check. <laughs> She's kind of hanging from it. Okay, now what? Uh, <laughs> I have an idea from my top hat. Scaffy, are you there? <laughs> <laughs> kind of climbs up. Scaffy, I need you to go through that hole, see if there's a switch on the other side. If there is, flip it. It's kind of standing up there, looking at you. <laughs> <laughs> Starts kind of like, it's trying to scrape up the wall. Climb up, uh, climb up Nedra, she's, cl she's hanging right there. Uh, the sand's about up to your knees now. Sc Scaffy gets a hold of Nedra. Nedra. Gonna make a climb check on Nedra. Don't don't tickle her too much. <laughs> <laughs> Good point. <laughs> Nedra's gonna see if she can hold on. Thank you, Ezra. <laughs> Poof! Back in the sand. Ah, shucks. <laughs> All right, you're able to climb up on the sand, though, as it starts piling up. All right, we're running out of space. Scaffy, there isn't much a time. strength check to get above it. Five. <laughs> no, I don't like this. Uh, 15. All right, Eloy, you're able to, like, step. Okay. Step. Okay. <laughs> step. Uh-huh. And there we go. Uh, Nedra's able to pull herself up, and then she uh, walks over to you. Thump. Thank you, Nedra. You're welcome. Here's Scaffy, I'm going to throw you up there, okay? Just gives you the thumbs up. All right, I try and toss Scaffy through the hole up there. All right, give me a dex check. All right. Uh, 20, uh, 21. All right. It kind of, like, hangs from the thing as it... Pulls itself up. Gives it another thumbs up. Excellent. Climbs down. All right, the sand's starting to pile up again. It's about up to your waist now. Whew. And the ceiling is getting closer as you're trying to climb your way up. All right, going to make a couple rolls for Scaffy here as he climbs through the other end. He doesn't know quite what he's looking for, right. but he's going he's gonna to try. Sand's piling up. Just, just look for anything, neck. Scaffy. Look for anything, I take, a, I take a deep breath before the sand gets <laughs> over my mouth. All right, I need each of you to make one con save. <laughs> 10. 13. Oh, wait, right. actually, 11, sorry. Uh, Ezra, I'll let you make that with advantage because you told me you took a breath. Oh, modify 20. All right. Uh, yeah, you're, you're both able to handle it. You hear a... <laughs> The sand <sighs> rushes out, and you flop onto the ground. <gasps> oh, breathing air. 
Ah, that was scary. <laughs> Says Netra as she flies yes, out. Yes, it sand. was. Uh, Shaking her head. I searched for Scaffy. He climbs back up onto your shoulder. Gives you the thumbs up. Hop in, buddy. Thanks for the help. Thumbs up again. Hops into the hat. <laughs> All right. So you've managed to navigate through one of Mumja's traps. That was nefarious. Just like that Mumja. It was no nefarious. Yes, absolutely. Absolutely no fa- Let's just keep going, Eloy. <laughs> All right, you keep wandering through the hallway there. Back into the giant elaborate loom, room in which you came from. But this time, there's a, there's a few more guys waiting for you. There's Shit. about seven of Mumja's goons just sitting there. Some of them up front, like, all in kind of a line, just winging their Mumchucks ready for you <laughs> in a pose. And then there are a few in the back, like, kind of scattered around, trying to hide behind parapets and things. Now, fellas, I just want to start off by saying we don't need to fight. <laughs> and look over there! They start charging. <laughs> they start charging you. <laughs> they aren't falling for your tricks this time, Wonders. Okay. Roll well, initiative. Uh, 13. 24. You said 13? Yes. Mark down a few notes here. Gotta get my initiative order. All right. So, I. Uh, Eloy, you get you get first round. There are basically five of them, basically kind of intergrouping here, charging at, at, at charging at you guys with their mumchucks drawn. Nedra, she's just like, oh boy, <laughs> pulls out her bat, ready to go. What are you going to do to these gentlemen? And then we have uh, four of them hanging around in the back, scattered in various areas, hiding behind a bunch of different parapets. When? I don't have a map for this particular encounter. Theater of the mind is how we're going to roll this one. See how it goes for you. I'm going to pull out my Kitar of Power. Aw, oh, man. Eloy's mighty Kitar of Power, powered by the Gemerald of Sound. <gasps> <laughs> and what power do you unleash today here, Eloy? <laughs> I'm going to hit him with Cool Jazz. Oh, man. You're hitting, the, uh, which, uh, you're hitting the ones that are charging right in front of you? Yeah, it's a 60-foot cone, so I figure I should be able to get all of them. So let's see. They're about uh, 10 feet from me, or like, yeah, about 15 feet from me now, charging in. I'd say you're able to hit the three that are charging at you pretty easily. So go ahead and hit them with, e with Eloy's Gemerald of Power, his uh, Cone of Cold, his Cool Jazz solo. <laughs> Sing! Shoots out an icy beam powered straight through his Kitar. The chilling wow. tracks of Eloy. 15, 20... Four, uh, four, uh, 45. This is a constitution save, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, what's your DC? Um, DC would be 16. 16? Yeah. All right. Fail. Fail. Carry the barely two. makes it. Wait. Yep, barely makes it. So two of them fail, one of them makes it. All right, so that's going to be 50 damage for those that fail and half that for those who made it. <laughs> two of them just kind of like, shink, <laughs> freeze it, like freeze. <laughs> Their mumchuck's still swinging. Uh, the one that makes it, he doesn't freeze, but he's like, <gasps> <gasps> and his next attack, oh, oh wait, I did say the next roll I made was going to be with disadvantage. Oh, yeah. Yeah, he nat ones. <laughs> Not only does he freeze, his mumchucks num slip out of his hands and shatters <laughs> one of his friends. <laughs> <laughs> Call that an icebreaker. Welcome to the party. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. Cool jazz. <laughs> cool jazz. Eloy takes him down. 
Uh, meanwhile, the ones in the back start throwing their unk shurikens. AC, Ezra? Uh, bu 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 uh, 15. All right, you see one as he like peeks around a corner. <laughs> Tink! Kind of like hits the wall behind you. <laughs> More you like sure can't. <laughs> yeah, you see the shape of an onk embedded in the wall behind you. Uh, the second onk one gets as to sharp go. as it is deadly. You said your AC is 15? Yes. This one strikes true, Ezra. Ugh! The onk sinks itself into your shoulder. As this damage is not a lot, but it's all right. They're, they're trying their hardest, you know? Mm -hmm. Three damage. Okay. <laughs> it's smarts. <laughs> That's not a paper cut you like to see. And one more gets to go before you. And Tink just kind of like... Tinks itself off of Nedra's horn. Tink. <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of giggling, ready, ready to go. As she's like ready to swing her bat. But it's your turn, Ezra. What do you do? I pull out my Ezra's crossbow of justice. Oh. Ezra holds aloft his mighty ring, powered by the Gemerald of Mirrors, and his crossbow <laughs> materializes out of it. <laughs> it glows with an awesome hum as I, he points it. I aim it at the guy who managed to hit me. Okay. Particularly. So you're fine. Okay. So for those of you, uh, I've changed the rule of Ezra's crossbow because yes. it, you can't be firing crossbow bolts. That's yeah. That's that's, so, that's too dangerous. That's for too children. dangerous for children. That's so mimicable. now it fires lasers, magic missile lasers. In fact, it fires <laughs> how many of them? Uh, it fires seven it magic. It fires bolts. seven magic missile bolts. <laughs> Uh, with one d4. Are you going to use? Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll allow you to, uh, for the sake of not having to roll seven mm -hmm. d4s. You, I'll let you do either like you know roll a, like roll one and then multiply it by seven if you want, okay. or if you really want to. But you have to call it before it. Yes. All right. Uh, I'm just going to roll it once, and this will be seven times. All right. So it's seven damage plus fourteen. Okay. Fourteen plus seven. Is 21. 20, yeah, 21. <laughs> Falls back. He's down. <laughs> That'll teach you. Rap scallion. <laughs> Nedra charges forward at one of the ones that has not thrown yet. <laughs> Makes her swing. Yeah, you can't see it because you're behind a pillar. Right, but. but <laughs> You see some dust shake from the ceiling. Some of the uh, some of the uh, cobblestones on that pillar shift out a little bit. And I think she got him, or she missed and hit the cobblestone. <laughs> yeah, he's down. <laughs> <laughs> is all is the sound you hear? Nice shot, Nedra. Yeah, <laughs> thumbs up from behind the pillar. <laughs> And then one more gets to go that you have not seen yet. Uh, Eloy, this guy saw what you can do. What's your AC? Uh, 15. 15. Actually, I guess that would be 16 with my dex. Ah, yeah, 16 with dex. Nope, it just goes flying past your head and tinks off the back wall. Eloy, we're back around to you. You have three that are hidden by pillars that are kind of close together, one that's off on their own next to Nedra. I'm I'm going to use my power cord power. I'm going to aim for the pillars and try and knock them over onto them. Oh, boy. <laughs> Cast and shatter on them pillars. All right. Uh, so 68 sonic damage for those pillars. 6d8. Uh, oh. And you're casting it on the pillars that they're hiding around? Yeah. Yeah, I'll say that... Um, yeah, yeah, you can do that. All right, I'll just roll three d eight and double that's, it. Because uh, that's ten foot radius, right? Right. Yeah, yeah, that'll hit. That'll hit two of them. Uh, so that's uh, twenty damage. Twenty damage. They get disadvantage on their save. Well, actually, no, they get absolutely no save because they are <laughs> organic material. They are inorganic material, and they actually, they, I believe, isn't that rule that they? No, they don't take max damage. They take max damage on a something, but two. So you said 20 damage? Yeah. Yeah, it starts to rumble. A few rocks come slamming down on top of the guys. They have to make some deck saves. That one makes it, but 
Yeah, that one makes it and stays in cover. And that one just kind of like rolls out, but he's now wide in the open. Um, they all make their deck save, so like the rocks do not hit them. Uh, however, the shatter damage did hit them, so they aren't looking very good. <laughs> they call me the rock slide. <laughs> Why? <laughs> <laughs> That's what you get when you work for a for a someone like Mumja. <laughs> okay. Uh, he takes this time to like just try to throw an onk, but it doesn't even get a spin. It just kind of clank, clank, clanks on the ground. <sighs> <laughs> Meanwhile, his friends who managed to stay in cover, who are still kind of clinging to life, but one of them made their... Uh... What, what's the save on Shatter again? It was Khan, right? Um, yeah, Khan. Yeah, yeah, they, they made that one. Um, so they're still not doing great, but they're alive and kicking. Uh, yeah, they're, they're just missing with those onks left and right. They are just throwing them at you, Eloy. Except this one. This one strikes true Ooh. with a nat 20. Ooh. Get ready for your nine damage. Ooh. Nedra's going to swing at the other one. She swings. She swings at one of them. He's down. He's <laughs> <laughs> just goes swinging at a wall. Just gone. <laughs> That's what you get for messing with fish <laughs> for surf sensei. Uh, I. Yeah, you got. Uh... Yeah, who's left? Yeah, you got two that are relatively da like pretty damaged. Pretty damaged. All right, for for my crossbow, can I? You can you can select targets. Can I select tar select targets. All right. Uh... One right. of them is wide in the open. Another one is sort of like, uh, I'm, I'm going to need you to make a perception check to see if you have visibility on him. Uh, but 11. Yeah, you can see him like poking his head out. <sighs> All right. Like, like a bad, like a bad enemy in a third or first person shooter. Yeah, just poking out and then <laughs> poking back in. All right. Uh, okay, so the first three of my bolts, I'm going to shoot at the guy who's in the open. All right, so this... Uh, so three plus whatever three plus times whatever, three. Yeah, whatever this roll is times three. Uh, so six plus three, so nine. Nine damage. <laughs> Falls down. He's he's unconscious. He's he's seeing birds. <laughs> and now with the other four, I aim at the guy who's poking his head at and out. Uh, I'm assuming I have to roll to hit this, right? Nope. Or, nope. Okay. Magic missiles automatically hit, which is why they don't awesome. deal a lot of damage. <laughs> yep. As long as you have visual on the guy and he's not behind complete cover. Uh, that does eight damage altogether. Yeah. <laughs> Falls down. Also seeing birds just... Wait, no. They're seeing, they're seeing uh, little, 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 like, mummy birds. Yeah. Just... <laughs> tweet, 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 tweet. Seeing onks and stars and... It, it basically, the Egyptian version of Lucky Stars just or, seeing or Lucky raw. Charms over the head. Little, yeah. little raw heads. Yeah, little raws. Ha! Ha! <laughs> Worship me! <laughs> All right. And that, that doesn't... That doesn't wonders you have... Successfully navigated your way through these minions. I look over at Eloy. Are you all right? I saw one of those. I saw one of those onks hit you. Yeah, I might. Uh, I might take one of these healing potions. Good idea. Remember, kids, never... violence has no <laughs> no lasting effect. <laughs> <laughs> as long as you drink your magic healing juice, always take your medicine. <laughs> we should probably be careful as we as we go forward, though. We've uh, we've likely made a lot of noise at this point. Mumja probably knows we're here. So I start stealthing my way forward in this uh, in this hallway. All right, roll stealth. Mm -hmm. Ooh, uh, twenty six, eighteen. Yeah. All right, you guys, are, you guys are pretty stealthy. Like you, you're like you're you're feeling pretty confident. You're not making like any noise. You hear the you can hear kind of a pitter patter from Nedra's feet, but you can tell she's trying to be slow. But mm -hmm. it's like click, clop. Sounds like dripping water almost. Just keep heading forward, I guess, until something triggers or I see something. Yep, go ahead and make a perception check if you want. 24. 17. Mm, something catches your eye, Ezra. Some of these, uh, some of these, uh, some of these stones don't look quite right. Hold on. 
I think there might be something here, Wonders. I start uh, investigating these stones. All right. Uh, 18. Yeah, some of these stones on the floor, or like the, on the floor specifically, look a little miscolored. If you like, you, you start to like kind of like press on one, it feels a little loose. Like you're not sure like what that could mean, but probably nothing good. Yeah, it's almost like these are on a different animation cell, like they're the yeah. ones that are gonna move. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, this one clearly looks darker than the rest of them. I, I look to Eloy and, and Nedra. Less detailed. <laughs> Don't step on, on this color block here. Just try to avoid it at all costs. All right, so you're gonna be avoiding that specific colored block. Yes. Okay, I want you to make a perception check going forward. Nat 20. Ooh. Slightly worse. <laughs> uh, let's see, 12. All right, Ezra, you can kind of see they're kind of in a checkerboard pattern. If you want to lead the way, that's cool. If you're just going to be avoiding those colored blocks. Yes, follow me. We'll just avoid these. those colored yes, blocks. Yes, those colored blocks Okay, you're avoiding those colored blocks specifically. Just uh -huh. making sure that that yes. is exactly what you're saying. Yes, that is precisely what I said. Okay, excellent. <laughs> <laughs> so gingerly walking forward. Here, I'll lead the way. Just follow, just step on the same blocks I am. Step it diagonally. Yes. Whoop. And whoop. Yep, everything's good so far. Good so far. Good so far. Mm-hmm. Not making great time, but you yeah. know what? This is this is the safest <laughs> way through. Better safe than sorry, kids. <laughs> Always better safe than sorry. Slow and steady wins the race and saves the wake. <laughs> All right. I want you to make one more perception check for me. Less good. Uh, Twelve. Eloy, do you want to make a perception check as well? Sure. Uh, somewhat better, nat 20. Hey. All of those Trading uh, all of those colored blocks like, you know, they kind of cease to exist at a certain point. But you still you're like something something about it still doesn't feel right to you cuz Eloy, you look to your left and right and you're like there's holes all over these walls. That that's that's probably not normal. Yeah, those you See them? I think something bad comes out of them. Snakes or something. They don't look like the same kind of holes that the sand came out of. But, mm -hmm. like, it, it, like, the wall's not necessarily Swiss cheese, but, like, every, I don't know, like, kind of in diagonal patterns, like a Connect Four shape. They're, like, all over the place on these walls. Um, from where I am, uh, I'm guessing we're, we're at the end of the, the checkerboard pattern of, of colored blocks. Yep. Um, I step over, and can I, like, get to the, the wall? Like, just against the wall, not where the holes are, but, like, near yeah. it? Yeah, you can do that. Okay. I, I'm up against the wall, and I, like, wave my hand in front of the holes. I feel a slight breeze coming out of them. Well, there's, there's air coming out, but nothing's triggering, at least. They don't have any sort of motion detection, so there might be something on the floor. I look to Eloy. <laughs> any ideas? I'm making an investigation check yeah. for both of you. Six? Three! Hey! I don't know, maybe it's just their air conditioning. Hmm. <laughs> this could just be some form of ventilation. Like, none of these blocks are different. All of these blocks look the same. <laughs> Who would make same-looking blocks into a trap? That, that sounds be. stupid. That sounds dangerous. Then how would they know where to stay? Exactly! exactly. Like, they'd need to each have a specific map for whenever they had to go over this area. Some sort of protocol or something. It's weird. <laughs> uh, how, how low to the ground do the holes go? Are they, are they from the floor up? They go from about, like, your shin upwards to probably eight feet. If I were to go prone, would I be underneath the holes? Barely. All right, then that's what I do. Okay. Fellas, I'm just going to check. I'm going to see if things start triggering as I go this way. I start crawling forward. Oh, man. This is like that time I lost the limbo competition on account of having four <laughs> legs. <laughs> I understand this will be just difficult for you to progress. <laughs> are, you, are, are you guys just waiting back as he does this? Yeah, I'm just waiting to see what happens. <laughs> All right. Ezra, as you're crawling forward, you know, you're shimmying yeah. like a soldier, like doing the soldier crawl. All of a sudden, your arm presses forward, and the block starts going, shoof, something's here! <laughs> and I need you to make a constitution save. You got it. As whoosh, jets of flame just kind of start shooting <laughs> out of the wall section you're at. Uh, 19. Yeah, it feels really hot. <laughs> 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 okay, but okay. Your think... ring starts glowing, and you're fine. 
Okay. Oh, okay. Feeling a little warmer than usual. That block is not safe. Fellas, I found an unsafe block. <laughs> uh, with my, I think I have charcoal or something. Uh, okay. Yeah, I, I, have, I have a pen and paper. So with my pen, I like mark on this block like a big X. All right. You mark that. You, I, I'll say Av you can mark that. Avoid this, avoid this block. All right. I continue shimmy, nice. shimmying forward. And you feel another one give way, this time on your left. <laughs> Constitution save. Nat one. This one's a lot harder. <laughs> your ring can't quite take it. Your ring can't quite take all of it. Woo, woo, woo. Got that. Take three, you take three fire damage. That burning buns. Woo! <laughs> it's silly. Ah, ah, ah. Another bad one! Another weapon! Another bad one! <laughs> feather, feather pen just marking this one. I, you know, pat myself the fire out and then just start shimmying forward once again. Oh, God, how, yeah, how long is this? You roll black onto the safe block. <sighs> the fire stops going. Uh, uh, uh. Shunk, shunk. This time on your right again. Uh, 19. Yep. You've. <laughs> Fire's very hot, but you're okay. Hot, hot the, stuff. The ring is like nuclear <laughs> glowing. <laughs> Mark another spot. This All dastardly right. mumja. I'm gonna Eloy roll perception since you got a further view. Nedra's gonna roll perception Do as well. Do you see any sort of pattern forming? Uh, I got a 14. Well, you notice that the first one was on the right. Second one was on the left. The third one was on the right again. I don't know. Do they do they seem evenly spaced? Yeah, I mean they're like this this blocks are like this hallway is like mm -hmm. two large blocks wide. Okay. So foom, foom, foom. All right, I, I think I'm seeing a pattern there. All right. All right. So, so you want to test that pattern? Yeah, I was gonna say I'm gonna. So you're I'm gonna, gonna stick, go up. So you're gonna stick to the right this time? Yes. I, I hold to the right. All right. You crawl forward onto the right block. Doesn't give way. All right, one more test just to see if this tricky mumja would, would, would try to throw a fast one. I, I go towards the left now. And that's the last block, and it's safe. All right, so just follow the pattern I, I set up. Avoid the X's, and then you know, follow that pattern. Funny enough, it's the same exact pattern from the previous blocks. <laughs> <laughs> well, I hadn't pieced that together <laughs> just quite yet. No, but you realize it on retrospect, just like, huh, ah, maybe that was just a... Th that was a map there early. <laughs> Got it, okay. I, just, just on the off chance that I screw things up, I'm going to cast resistance on myself before I cross. <laughs> Go right ahead, Eloy. <laughs> should, should I screw up, it'll give me a bonus to my save, but I, I attempt to follow the, uh, the pattern, the safe blocks. All right. Um, yeah, I'll say you follow it. <laughs> Pretty easily, just... Clip clop, clip clop. You, like you're a little nervous going around the corner, so you hop, <laughs> hop. <laughs> Meanwhile, Nedra, ha 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 ha. Ah, ah. She purposely steps on a fire one. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> Takes a little fire bath. Don't hurt yourself, Nedra. I know you like fire, but even a little bit of it can go a long way. She walks out of a little singe. <laughs> Kids don't play with matches. All right, I, I continue down, but I'm still going to kind of go back into stealth. All right, going back into stealth? Yep. Less good. Uh, 15. Uh, 10. You don't, well, if you make a perception check as well, just to see if anything's ahead of you. My perception's pretty good. Uh, 25. 11. You see what, be, what seems to be like a lot more light coming from like what looks to be a staircase Kind of like leading upwards a little bit. Okay. We start, I, I start shimmying up the staircase. Keeping myself try, as concealed as I, as I can. Yep, you don't hear anything from the room ahead of you. But as you start to reach the top, you see your friend wake, <gasps> strapped to what looks to be like kind of an onk, his mouth ga bound and gagged. It's like strapped in there by some sort of device. Like this looks mechanical, like trapping his arms down. His hands are in bindings. Like he can't move anything. 
drawn his by waist is clasped, his feet are clasped, everything. Drawn by concern for his friend, I just step out. Wake! Oh no! <laughs> He's trying to say something. Mumra's made him like a mumbra. Oh no! <laughs> uh, I try to head up to him. Yeah, waste just like looking back and forth. Like this, he, he seems kind of dazed as if he's like just waking up. Uh, can, I, can I like reach like, I'm, it sounds like he's gagged. Can I like uh, reach up to him and get his mouth free? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, you, can, I, you can like get I, behind his head. I untie whatever. Sir Sensei, are you okay? Uh, you guys are here. Uh, Wait, is everything all right? Yeah, it was all a trap. Uh, I got suckered into this, I'm sorry. It's all right. We're here now. Uh, I start undoing bindings. Wait, is that my is that my staff you have? It is. Oh, thank God they didn't get the gemerald. Absolutely. We we know what our mission is. Even though you know we we came here in search of you. As soon as we saw the gemerald, I knew, we I knew that you would want that protected. Yeah, we can't let Mumja get his grubby hands on them. Absolutely. If they were in his hands, ah, oh, the evils he could do, the unfathomable, evils, the unfathomable damage he could do to La Seranus. Absolutely. Uh, uh, this is all my fault. And you start to get kind of a flashback. I was waking up in the morning, and, well, I was about to go out and collect food for the day, for breakfast. You know, Grammy loves the fresh seafood. Absolutely. And I found a note on my door that seemed to be from Miss Calliope. <gasps> it said that she wanted to confess something to me, and that she wanted to meet me for a unforgettable luncheon in the woods. Wow. So I went out, I followed her directions, exactly. I met her in the clearing, and there she was, beautiful as the day I met her, just sitting there. Oh, she offered me a cup of tea, she offered me a sandwich, we sat there, we talked for a little bit, but then Mumja's goons showed up. <gasps> oh, I, I got between them and her, and I took them down, all of them. None of them stood a chance, but... Then she started laughing, and I turned around. It wasn't Calliope at all, guys. It was Mumja's nefarious underling, Cleocatra. What? Uh, she had just, she tricked me. And by the time I had known what was up, it was too late. The poison started taking its effect and I fell asleep. And well, I woke up here. Uh, thank you for getting here. What is all of these things? He starts kind of struggling for himself because he can't quite make heads or tails of, like he can alternate his hands, but they seem to be like on some sort of like rotor. Hmm. Like he just, I try to investigate them. All right. Twelve. Yeah, they're, they're really locked in there, man. Strange. Like, there doesn't seem to be, like, there, there are, like, little seams on there, but it doesn't seem like there's any lock on yeah. any of them in particular. Like, it's some sort of mechanism. Eloy, do you want to investigate yeah. them as well? Uh, Nedra failed pretty hard. <laughs> Net 20. Whoa, hey. Eloy, this might be... <laughs> Your donkey knowledge, <laughs> your, your, your asinine wisdom is at it again. Donkology, in, in effect. <laughs> if there aren't any clasps or anything here, perhaps there's some sort of mechanism around here. You're saying as Nedra's like biting at them, kan, 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 kan. I'll get you out of here, Surf Sensei. Kan, kan, kan. <laughs> uh, all right, I do uh, perception looking for some sort of like yeah, Everybody switch. go ahead and do an investigation. 12, 15. Uh, Eloy, you can see uh, probably about 10, 15 feet above you, there seems to be a lever. Nedra, do you think you can reach that lever? <laughs> I mean, maybe. Uh, mind if I eat? Like, kind of pointing <laughs> to your back end. I brace myself as best I can. Yep, go for it! All right, she's going to just kind of kind of use you as a boost. Give her a boost! <laughs> All right, uh, I want you to roll a quick strength check just to make sure this goes through. Five. Yeah, she kind of hoofs you in the back. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you just, oh, you kind of collapse down, and she falls down with you. I want to see if she can make a deck safe to not collapse on top of you. <laughs> yeah, she, she, was, she, like, she went full force. Like, she was not being gentle. <laughs> she, she was just, like, running. Huh? Push! New plan. <laughs> Nedret, could you give Ezra a boost? <laughs> yeah. Did you throw me up there? Fastball special, this one. Hmm. All right, she tries to lift you. She's going to do a strength check to see if she can toss you up there. 
Uh, not quite. Like you're just <laughs> like it's it's kind of like a game of like who who's the bait, <laughs> but you only go up like four feet. Like you're not quite. Hey Ezra. Yeah. Remember how we both have grapply hooks? Yeah. I just remembered that. I thought of something else. My magic missiles can't miss. <laughs> Can we just shoot it and try? It's, it's, it looks like it's on a string. Like oh, okay. It's kind of dangling okay. there. But if you want to use grappling hooks, <laughs> that sounds that better. That makes a little sense too. <laughs> All right, go ahead and make a. One of you make a dex check to see if you can hook it. Who, who's gonna throw the? I guess Ezra. I throw it with. Uh, you said dex. Yes. Modified twenty. All right. It kind of connects. All right, I think I got it. Let's give it a tug. All right, I got it. She grab. She grabs the rope. All right, ready? One, two, pull. The floor opens beneath you. Ah! <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> uh, she's going to try to make a deck save to try to catch one of you guys. Go for it. don't know why I'm giving permission. But All right, yeah. she, uh, yeah, she grabs the, uh, she grabs the staff. Good call. Yeah, but, uh, it, and, like, who was holding the staff? You've been holding uh, it? Yeah. yeah. All yeah. Right, make a strength check to see if you can hang on to it. <laughs> With this advantage, because it's like you're oh. on the su you're on the low end of it, man. Ooh. Four. Yeah, you First slip and you good. guys fall into the pit. But it's like a slide. It's like <laughs> ah! <laughs> and you slide away from Nedra, down, down, downward into the pits of the pyramid, and you land <laughs> in a very well lit space. Huh. A very it's large room. Way bigger than you expected this pyramid to be, like, from its outside. This, this place is enormous. I look around. The perception check of 12. Uh, 15. Yeah, the best way I can describe this place is, uh, big, open, like, sandy, like, flat field. This almost looks like a sort of arena and great <laughs> yep uh and there are, up there there's some very like some natural light is coming in like streaming downward onto you and there's a large purple like gem just hanging in the middle of the room like floating there like high above you man this place is bigger on the inside like sid the rat's house yeah it's, that's tardis also, backwards kids yeah <laughs> <laughs> you, also, you also fell, like, a lot further than you felt you would have in this pyramid. Because you only went up one staircase. Yeah. Uh, like, you can see a few balconies around there. Uh, one with a mighty throne. I wonder and, whose chair that is. Uh, so you fell for my trap, Blunders. <sighs> As out steps Mumja with his full pharaoh's attire. <laughs> Now we're playing my games on my field. Fade to black. <laughs> the Natural Wonders is sponsored by Grammy's Secret Snacky Cakes. A little secret in every bite. One of the boys bites in. Oh, oh, mine's cuttlefish. Oh, mine's living. <laughs> And our amazing supporters on patreon.com slash TFS. <laughs> we'll be right back after this. Ahoy, Wonders, and welcome back to the table. We fade back in as Mumja is laughing maniacally above you guys as you stand here in the temple. <sighs> Today you face your doom. Disciple! <laughs> A door slides down on the side as you hear a familiar cackle. <laughs> and a clattering and pattering of hoot like large feet. <laughs> a large cat <gasps> drawing a carriage comes out. It looks like a, uh, and uh, riding the carriage is a tabaxi in the style of, you know, one of those like tan and slightly darker tan Egyptian cats. Mm -hmm. A very vivacious, curvy cat. Ooh. like. Unnatural, like, you know, there's always that one character, the femme fatale yeah. in every Saturday morning cartoon character, car cartoon show. Yeah. This is the one. The, All right. The, the one that, that turns the viewers a little Kaiserish. Yes, <laughs> just slightly. You know, there's always that Lola Bunny. There's always that Minerva Mink. 
This is a little that something character. for dad if he's yeah. watching. <laughs> a little something to make dad feel a little creepy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, decked out in a classic Cleopatra-style hairdo, uh, her tabaxi ears sticking up out of, you know, sticking up. Uh, she has golden, you know, dressing all around her, wearing pretty much kind of like very similar to that Egyptian Beerus God of Destruction sort of getup, only, you know, just, just traditional Egyptian garb, basically, like royalty garb is what I will say, as she's laughing in that patented, <laughs> like, you know, Final Fantasy <laughs> style as she's being pulled by this larger, significantly larger cat. <laughs> like, it's a cat about the size of a horse <laughs> that is pulling this carriage. A big cat. Yes. You know that this is Mumja's diabolical hen- hunchtress. <laughs> hench- henchtress, hen- I guess. Mistress Henchman. Yeah, Mistress Henchman Cleocatra. <gasps> Cleocatra. Well, well, Blunders, it looks like it's my turn to play with you. Ha <laughs> Well, fortunately for us, you still don't have the power of the Gemeralds, and as always, <laughs> evil never triumphs against our, against our justice. Oh, is that what you think? She says as she pulls a bow glowing with black energy from her back. What? Roll initiative. Not been great on initiative today. 15. 23. <laughs> Pretty good, Eloy, but not good enough. Oh. Shocking. Go figure, she's a cat. Yeah. <laughs> and her and the uh, other cat will share initiatives because it's basically a pet. Yeah, sure. Do, 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 do. Right now, from where you are, she is... Each, if each square is uh, five feet, I'm pretty sure she's like 100-something feet away from you. 120. Okay. 100-some-odd. Actually, close to 200 from there. Catra, you said you got 23? Yeah. And then, Ezra, you said you got 13? Or 15? Uh, 15. Okay. She looks at you. The bow begins to, like, as she pulls it, the string back, it begins to glow with black energy. As she fires a bolt towards Eloy, remembering the last time you had met, the way you had, the way you had foiled her. <laughs> she tried to seduce you with her feminine wiles, but you were just too dumb. <laughs> <laughs> her greatest weakness. <laughs> What's your AC? Uh, 16. That's a hit. <gasps> Catro with her. She, she thought she would be my catnip, but I sent her for a catnap. Mm. You did indeed, Eloy, you did indeed. And she didn't take too kindly to that, because she remembers, and she file, fires the long bow of set at you. Uh, do, 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 do. Let me find my D8. This looks like it might be game, set, and match. <laughs> D8, yes it is. One plus, seven plus. All right, you take uh, 12 damage, 10 of which is necrotic. You. you feel a burning sensation almost down to your soul as this dark arrow of dark energy pierces your flesh. Oh no, my soul! That's like the best part of me! <laughs> <laughs> Gotta protect that soul! That's, that's a whole genre of music that I won't be able to do anymore <laughs> if she takes that away! Let me pull up my notes again. All right, Eloy, it is your turn. Okay, she's uh, how far away? Uh, you can count the squares. Okay, so. Yeah, I know, amazing map here, just a giant square, but it's a pyramid, cut yeah. me some slack. <laughs> okay, she's like 90 feet. Um, so, let's see. Yeah, I'm just going to, um, Uh oh, Eloy busts out his guitar of power <laughs> as he plays a mighty face melting solo. Oh! <laughs> no, not that! As the uh, guitar glows with power, it fires forth red beams of energy, firing at, I'm guessing Cleocatra? Yeah. All right. 
All right, so five I, rays. Yeah, I don't believe there's a save to this. Uh, if, if it is, you didn't know, mark it down. Oh, wait, no, it's a, uh, it's oh, a do, spell attack. Sorry. Oh, okay. So right. roll, roll to hit for each beam. All right, so five beams. Uh, let's see, it'll be plus... Plus your charisma modifier, I believe, is your spell. Yeah, I think that's how that works. Uh, let's see. Ugh. Okay. Uh, so that's a, a 10, a 13, a, an 18, a 6, and a 14. All right, you can see uh, her cat and carrot start to like as they as she's trying to swerve away as she's trying to take aim with another bolt, and one of them strikes true on the side of her beautiful, beautiful face, <gasps> dealing dealing seven fire damage. She hisses at you. How dare you! Singed whiskers. Yeah, she comes back with like a singed face. So some of the gold is starting to like drip there. <laughs> <laughs> she bears her fangs towards you. Ezra, it is your turn. All right. Clear catcher, you're moving a little bit too fast for my liking. It's time for me to throw on the brakes. I pull out my crossbow of justice and aim at least two of the bolts at the wheels of the, of the chariot. Oh, you're aiming at the chariot wheels. Yes. Ooh. All right. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I just roll these uh, D4s. I will, I'll just make this a double... This, this counts for both of them. So, oh, sweet. Eight uh, plus two, so ten. Ten? Ten, ten fire damage, I guess, to the... To uh, the uh, arcane. Ten, arcane. Or force damage. Force damage, okay. She starts to buck to the left. Starts to buck <laughs> a little bit to the right. Uh, curse you blunders. <laughs> and is that your uh, turn there? Uh, well, I only fired two, and I've still got five bolts left. Ah, you got five bolts so the, left. So the other ones are going for the cat. All right, going straight for her. Yes. So five times... Five times one, unfortunately. Okay, so, so that's ten damage. Yeah. She starts batting at them. <laughs> ah, ah, ah. <laughs> Marking down her health. While my damage might not be as high, it is at least guaranteed. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I should probably close to a uh, cool jazz range here. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Cleopatra moves again. Catra. Yeah, Cleo, Cleo Catra moves again. Clippity clap, clippity clap, clippity clap, clippity clap, clippity clap. Fires another arrow, this time directly at Ezra. <gasps> What's your AC? Uh, 15. You're just Ooh. barely able to dodge out of the way as the... Uh, pressure, like you can feel this dark energy rippling Suck. through this bolt. <laughs> and it Such just impacts evil. the wall and like with this black flame, it just <laughs> sp splats out against the wall, firing her second arrow at you. She gets two attacks. Oh, that's a second miss. Just <laughs> this, time, this time on the other side of your head. Woof, woof. You just dodge back and forth. Nice try, Cleocatra, but the deception of evil will never shoot true. <laughs> She continues her movement to this corner. All right, we're back up to Eloy. All right, I'm going to take my movement up towards her. Right, what's your move speed again? 30. All right, so. So 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. And count that back end as your face. And which should bring me into just barely into power cord range. Yeah, me measure that out for us here. Sure, uh, let's just, double check. Just count here. that out, just because I built this thing for a very specific reason. 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60. Ooh, not quite. Not quite. Not She's quite. just at the edge. Yes, yep. I built my arena properly, <laughs> <laughs> as you had hoped. Let's see. And yeah, if she's not within sixty, none of my other spells are going to do much. Um, so it's time for another face melting solo. Yeah, I think that's uh. Unless I have. Hold on. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Face melting solo. All right. Roll your spell attacks. All right. That's a that's a miss. We got an eighteen. That's one. Um, 
A, will a 16 do it? A 16 will do it. Okay, that's two hits, and yeah, <laughs> two hits. Two hits? All right, how much damage? Uh, so two d6 each. Yeah, so, so the first one does... Does seven, the next one also does seven. All right, 14 damage. Boom. <laughs> She's not happy. She's not happy with you at all. Ezra, it is your move. All right. <laughs> Using my master's ring, I use a uh, cast, uh, I project an image. I make a giant ball of yarn <laughs> up against this wall. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, so, you're, so you're attempting to lure her cat right. Yes. Okay. Uh, I want you to roll your persuasion against her handle animal. Okay. Uh, 18. 18 versus... Yeah, that cat's like... <laughs> No, 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 listen to mommy. <laughs> but you can tell you got its interest. <laughs> it's just right there. All right, and that's, is that that's, your action or is that your... Uh, well, uh, the... So I remember I gave some of your rules, uh, some of your things special rules. Yeah, well, my master's ring uh, can perform the following as bonus actions. Can I do Yeah, that's more a bonus one? action, man. You get, you get an action. Okay. Uh, and a movement. Okay. Uh, so with that, well, I can't shoot crossbow bolts. That's not cartoony. Um, you still got your magic missile bolts, but if you have anything else you want to do. That's true. Okay. With, with how this was, was written, I wasn't sure if the crossbow of justice the cro the crossbow, was part of like the master attacking ring. Attacking with the crossbow is an action. Okay, all right. Summoning the crossbow is a bonus action. Okay. But you already have it equipped. Okay. Like you've, yeah, I've, you've I've, summoned I've, it at the start of yes. battle, I assume. Okay, yes. Or last round you yeah. summoned it. All right, well, then with that, with that uh, in mind... And then now I take aim at, uh, at Cleocatra with all seven bolts. Oh, man, seven times. So 14 plus seven. 14 so plus 21. seven. 21 damage. <laughs> Empty the clip on her. Brrrr, <laughs> brrrr. You, like, you see as the cat starts to, like, turn... Meow. No, no, no. Flies straight into your bolts. Ow, 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 ow. <laughs> Starts to bat at the string. It disappears when it realizes it's not there. It's like, oh. <laughs> it's a very sad kitty. But now she's within range of you, and she does not look happy. She's also not looking very healthy. <laughs> she closes her eyes, looks back up. She has this look, this come-hither sort of look. For adults, it's the bedroom eyes. Oh. <laughs> and she just starts dancing. The hips aren't lying. <laughs> Everything's oh, lying? No, the hips are not lying. <laughs> Her hips have cast zone of truth on me. <laughs> I need each of you to make a wisdom save. All right. Uh, five. Thir er, Fourteen. Oh, all, all you can see, like, you're just trans Mesmerized. entranced by this. She's just dancing for you. And like even when you close your eyes, all you can see is her. You are now under the effect of a hypnotic pattern. <laughs> all you can see is her in your brain. This is all there is. All there is is Cleocatra. Why is, why is anything in this world anything but Cleocatra? <laughs> Seems like a waste of the entire rest of the world to and me. Your, your jaw is doing that thing uh. after, like you, know, they, they see, like, you know, they see Jessica Rabbit. <laughs> Awuga eyes. Yep. Uh, you you know hypnotic pattern better than I do. How many rounds does that last? Or you you uh, get a you get a saving throw each round or something like that? Um, it is. Uh, it takes her concentration, so she can't use any other concentration effects while okay. it's active. Uh, but other than that, it lasts one minute. Okay. Uh, or until uh, we get another saving throw if we take damage, or if an allied creature spends an action trying to snap us out of it. All right, I'm going to say that for basically like what feels like the next eternity for you, you are just like everything Mesmerized. you're seeing is Cleocatra. You are trapped in her eyes. You are it's trapped. It's unfair that you get nine lives and I only get to spend she, one yeah, of them with you. She only gets to spend one of them. <laughs> <laughs> and when you come to, you can just kind of see her licking her wounds. 
<laughs> Are we back? Cleocatra, <laughs> what nefarious <laughs> plot? Fire, fires a bolt at you. She has healed uh, a decent portion of damage. Oh no! Actually, let me roll for how much she's healed real quick, because that's, what, 10 rounds of just attempting yep. to heal herself? I'm just going to round up. That's about right. My estimate was correct. I don't know why I bothered. All right. Um, so, yeah, she fires a bolt at you, Ezra, for messing with her cat. Oh, also, she has moved. She's back here again. <laughs> Curses. So a bolt at me. Yeah, she's firing a, a dark energy just... Ting, 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 ting. <laughs> Nat one. Ting, it's not working. Ting. <laughs> What's wrong? Uh, you've overcharged it, you fool! <laughs> oh, I told you you could only use it for a certain amount of time. Ah, I'm sorry, master. She looks up and she sets the bow down. I guess we have to do this the other way. <sighs> Cloud of smoke on the ground. <laughs> Cat is gone. <gasps> these aren't actually your friends. Yes. I'm just using these. <laughs> <laughs> I figured as much. You now see seven Mumja minions in front of you. Or, sorry, six Mumja minions in front of you when the smoke clears. But you still hear Cleocatra's voice echoing. Now what will you do, wonder, now what will you do, blunders? If you can't find me, they all pull out a whip. Then what will you do? Eli, I think you're up. Yep, yep. it is Eloy's turn. Let's see. I don't need to choose if I can hit all of you with my cool jazz. I can't hit all of them, but I, think, <laughs> but yeah. I can get four of them anyway. <laughs> yeah, those four in front of you there? Yeah, just all the right, ones on. directly me, in front of me. Let me number there. them real quick, because I have them numbered out there, but I need to now adjust the board. All they right. all share her initiative, by the way, just to make this easier on me. Sure. Yes. I'm just over here, dabbing away. Don't mind me. <laughs> All right, go ahead and play your cool jazz, Eloy. All right. As you blast them with a cone of chilling breeze. Just roll 48 and double it here. Just make the math easier. Uh, let's see, that's 5, 12, uh, 18. So that'd be uh, 36 for those who miss their save, 18 for those who make it. It's a con save. Right. Let me make some con saves for some minions. Good for him. Uh, the save is 14. Uh, 16. 16, okay. Yeah, con save versus DC 16. Okay. One of them got a nat 20. Like, they're fine. And. Okay. So. Wielding his keytar of power, Eloy turns to the side and plays some cool jazz. He flips down his shades, puts on a hat. <laughs> you tell him, trumpet man, I say to the man holding a keytar. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Those two turn to ice. The other two look like they're still standing. Just fine. <sighs> They crack the whip just to keep themselves warm. All right. I run in to get a clear shot. Two, three, four, five, six. And now with my bow of justice, uh, I send 
Let's see. Those two are frozen. All right. Uh, so yeah, the two that are flipped over are frozen. Okay. Um, in I fact, here uh, you, you may as well just get rid of them. They they don't exist for the sake of this. Frozen. And I think it's existence. hard to tell on the webcam. Uh, the the one closest to me, I'm going to send. The, actually, these two, these two who are up front. Uh -huh. The two. pistachio and the antfish. Yes. I'm going to send two bolts to each of them. Okay. And then uh, with seven, it makes it harder to divide between four. I know. <laughs> you have to choose one to prioritize. Yeah, yeah. all right. I'm going, to, I'm going to send two bolts to, the, to like this triangle and then just one to the far one. Okay. Uh, tell me how much you're... Let's, let's uh, roll out the damage for the, uh, the first one that's already gotten hit by the cone of cold closest to Eloy first. Okay. He gets uh, three damage done to him. Okay, he's still standing. The antfish looking one gets four damage done to him. Right, definitely still standing. Ziaka gets three damage. Okay. And the farthest one gets five damage. Also, I think I messed up my math here. Those were each getting shot twice, not just once. So, uh, if you need to uh, tell me which one you're firing back at, real quick. Uh, I only did the. I only did one for uh, Pliskin and Ziaka. Okay. So. Uh, yeah, those two weren't going to go down anyway. But let me know okay. how much extra damage they're doing. Okay. Uh, that one gets one more or two more added to it. The Pliskin one uh, and the Ziaka one gets also two more added to it. All right, the two that Eloy hit, they aren't looking great. Mm. Okay. Like, they, they're clearly perturbed. They just, uh, they just got hit by a lot of things all at once. <laughs> they're very chilly. Uh, now they got their whips are ready, and they're moving in. Do, 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 do. They're going to try to... A flanking maneuver. Yep. And these two, they see what you're doing. As ninjas, they are quite agile. Mm -hmm. Oh, wait. Boop. Boop. Hold on. I think I might have misplaced one. There we go. Oh, wait, no. The back end is what I said. There we go. They can't quite get a flanking attack on you, Ezra, but Eloy, you're uh, taking disadvantage on one of their attacks. Which one do you want disadvantage on? Um, I'll take disadvantage against the pistachio looking one. Of course. One. Papa Bless. <laughs> All right. Coming at you with a cat of nine tails whip, Eloy. Specifically chosen. Um, <laughs> does a 15 hit? It does not. Thank you, bonus Saturday morning decks. <laughs> All right. Now the pistachio. Well, let's use that advantage. A 17 hits, though, correct? It does. All right. That whip strikes true. Let me look at this one more time. Da -da -dum. Take eight damage. Whoops! As the backside of you gets like slapped with a whip. I'm feeling that cat scratch fever. All right, Ezra. First one's coming at you with a whip. Uh, don't suppose a 13 it hit. Nope. All right, second one coming at you with a whip. I do suppose a 23 would hit. Yeah, that would, that would get me pretty good. That probably hits you pretty, pretty good. That's uh, six damage you've taken. <laughs> ah! Oh, the sting. I think a problem may have come along. <laughs> now they're each going with their second attack. Ooh. Miss on Eloy. <clears throat> Second miss on Eloy, but he gets advantage. Also misses. Hey! Ooh. Don't get reflexes. Yeah, no, you're bucking. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't see his hooves. 
<laughs> Ezra, does uh, an 18 hits you, right? Yes. Okay. And a 12 will not. Yes. Okay. You take an additional five damage. Turn that 13. One from each side as they're just... Whoosh, whoosh, ah, whoosh, ah. As you're kind of like dancing to stay <laughs> out of there. I have no quip. It just stings. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Right, I think, right, Eloy, that, are you up? Uh, back around to me? Yep. All right, so I'm assuming they have reach with their whip weapons. Does that mean they're going to get AOOs if I try and move out of this? Yes. Okay. Without disengaging as an action. Right. Yeah. In that case, I think I'm just going to just gonna go another face-melting solo, scorching ray. Um, right, yeah, and you can fire those in any direction as long as you can see them, so... Yeah. Are so. you just going to try to melt the ones that are around you, which have already taken several damage? or yeah. how, how do you want to split the five? So I've got five rays. Yeah, I think I'm going to go two each to the ones that are, that are facing me, which are the ones that have already taken damage, and then the one extra I'll hit at the Ziaka-looking one. Okay. Um, so let's see the two going for this, the far one, uh, are a 14 and a nat 20. The, yeah, the <laughs> nat 20 hits and the, hold on, does a 14 hit? Let me look real quick here. Yes, they both hit. All right. And the nat 20 definitely hits, but I don't think spells get crit damage. I, I, I don't know. I'll allow it. Screw it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I, I think This is an incredible face metaling so <laughs> <laughs> It's the whammy bar that doesn't exist. 9, 10, 11, 12. He's playing it with his teeth. <laughs> 24 damage to, uh, to, to that, that one, one back there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> As his face falls into the sand. <laughs> you melted it, man. Blah, melted. Yeah, take, take him off. He's gone. All right. Meanwhile, two. Pistachio taking another two. Uh, let's see. Another nat 20 and a, fifth, or a 16. All right. Roll uh, double damage on that nat 20 first. All right. Eloy just killing it, playing with his feet. Wow, I rolled four ones. <laughs> <laughs> That's amazing. But two of them are doubled. <laughs> well, so, uh, seven, uh, 11 damage total. All right, 11 damage total. Yeah, that one's still standing. It's, it's definitely not happy, but it's still standing. <laughs> All it's right. like holding his hand up. <laughs> and then one ray at the Ziaka looking one. Uh, it's a 23, so that'll... Yeah, the Mumja minion directly in front of Ezra. And that 23 will hit. Looking at me. Seven damage to that one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's not happy, but it's standing. All right, Ezra, your turn. All right. Uh, the one that he just singed... I ready and just shoot all my crossbow bolts. All of your bolts? I'm just going to empty on it. Just at least get rid of one of them for sure. All right. Or at least that's the hope anyway. So with seven magic bolts, I'm just going to roll it once and have roll it count one, for all of them. Roll one, multiply by seven, plus seven. So 14, so 21 again. <laughs> get off of me! <laughs> it's like... <laughs> You see a familiar cat-like face coming up. <gasps> you! She's here! Get them! <laughs> What's the matter, Cleocatra? Cat got your mask? All right, Cleocatra's going to throw down another smoke bomb. <laughs> Poof. Just when we thought the cat was out of the bag. Shift, 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 shift. Ooh. Once again, three mumjil minions stand <laughs> around you. Could be anyone. Could be anybody. Uh, yeah, the, the, the peg that I moved, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Only I know which one she's actually on. <laughs> All right, and uh, they're going to use their attack to whip. 
Uh, which one do you want disadvantage? You want the one on the same side as pistachio? Uh, sure. All right. Or I guess we'll go with the same pistachio one. Yeah. Because that was, yeah, the, the one that's the Ziaka looking one missed. All right, pistachio getting his advantage. That's a hit. And I'll do, do, do. They're each going to hide the fact that they only have one, that Cleocatra only has one action left, so. <laughs> uh, that's three damage. Mm -hmm. Or, I'm sorry, five damage, Eloy. And Ezra, that's a, that's a definite hit. <clears throat> Taking six damage. All right. Ezra's getting a little punchy now. He's 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 been beat up a bit. All right. Yeah, I'm not feeling great either. Is it back around to me? Yeah. It is your turn, Eloy. All right. I'm I'm gonna try and melt these faces, by golly. <laughs> melt them faces, Eloy! Two, two, and one. So we'll start with pistachio. Uh we got a fifteen and an eighteen. Those both hit? All right. Roll me some damage. Seven plus uh, eleven damage on on the pistachio looking one. Yeah, he begins clasping his face. <laughs> Just kind of collapses into the dirt. <laughs> Stops and rolls. <laughs> Just collapses. <laughs> He's done. Remember, stop, drop, and roll when I melt your face, kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and the one on your other side, yep. you're no longer being flanked. Uh, that's a, a seventeen and a twenty-two. Those both hit. All right. Uh, eight, uh, 20 damage to that one. Yep, same dude, like another dude just, oh, <laughs> why? <laughs> it's so cool! <laughs> and that leaves the one. <laughs> Process of elimination, Cleocatra. It's the one I love the most because it's the one I can do on the toilet. Cler curse you, blunders! <laughs> you, she just says in her full voice to you. <laughs> As as that last that last ray whizzes by her head, because that's a miss. <laughs> but Ezra, she's yeah. right there in your face. Crossbow of justice, <laughs> all pointed right at her. She just looks at you. <laughs> you wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> she gives you those eyes. She's she's trying to char She's trying to diplomacy of twenty two. All right, what do I have to roll against that? <laughs> uh, insight. Oh, not my best. Oh, but hey. I match it. Oh, so I would. <laughs> <laughs> Here, kitty, kitty. I say with all seven bolts going straight at her, doing just 14 damage. <laughs> Cleopatra, that, Cleopatra, that's enough. <laughs> Smoke bomb. <laughs> When the smoke settles, the mighty Mumja stands before you. You dastardly fiend! It's time I deal with you myself, Blunders. Welcome to Mumja's Tomb of Horrors! You don't stand a chance against my Mumjutsu! <laughs> I bet you've got a glass, Mumja! Ah! <laughs> Bit of a Roll me initiative one, like one more time, gents. Not quite as eight. Good. Also eight. Mum just too busy pontificating with his natural <laughs> one. <laughs> yes! <laughs> At last! <laughs> I will let you two decide amongst yourselves who goes first. Uh, I have an idea. You should let me go first. Go for it. <laughs> All right, let me write down initiative order. Just stay there. All these weeks, I have been plotting and planning, ready to take your gem roots, and here you stand, coming to me! Well, little do you know, you fell into a trap, and then Ezra, as he's talking, you. <laughs> All right, I, uh... With my, with my alchemy jug, I create oil. All right. What do you do with this oil? Uh... With this oil now, I, 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 I don't use it yet. I've got it, I've got it like, okay. packed for me, but I go towards him. I just needed to create it, because it takes an action to create and an action to pour. 
Okay, so you created oil, and now you're just yeah. kind of wandering towards Mumja. Yes. Like, okay, uh, roll me, like, real quick, because I'm guessing you're doing this like you're listening to him, and you're yes. absorbing yeah. his words. So roll me a performance. Like Mumja. He's trying to encapsulate you, and let's see. Mumja, if- you villain! I perform with a... Uh, Modified 20. Well, Mumja just got a second nat one, so he <laughs> believes, like, oh, yes, yeah, listen to me. Oh, all these years I've been planning and plotting, and now the Gemeralds you seek, and now the Gemeralds I seek are just within my I'm grasp. Just inching forward ever so slightly. All right, uh, you can take your full move to him, but, that's your, but those are your actions. Okay. Eloy, it's your turn. Uh, all right, does he... Like I, I like you have like the jar behind your back. Yes. I'm guessing. Yeah, he didn't see it. Hmm, I wonder if this is even worth doing when I have this face melting solo. <laughs> <laughs> Always a good question. Yeah. All I'm gonna Unfortunately, say. Unfortunately, a lot of your AOE stuff's gonna be kind of hard with Ezra that close. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> I can. Yeah, anything that you can focus to maybe get his attention off of me. Be a good idea. Because hey. I took a lot of fire damage earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> Think about that. <laughs> and a tool I might have. Because <laughs> I was originally thinking on doing this to Cleocatra, but if the big boy is going to come out. Yeah, no, you, got, you guys like destroyed Cleocatra. She got rocked, and as soon as she <laughs> rolled that nat one for her attack, <laughs> it was like, all right, bow's out. <laughs> I promise I don't know how Zito runs that other ring, so I'm just going to make up something. Okay. I'm going to assume. Let's see. I mean, either way, it's a... That seems a little too powerful. (laughs) 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 No. Yeah, that looks right. Says the guy that created the guitar of power. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm. <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna hit him with a suggestion. All right. Uh, so he gets a wisdom saving throw versus DC 16. Okay. DC 16 wisdom save. Yep, he beats that. What, okay. what was your suggestion? <laughs> out of curiosity. I was. It was just gonna be. It would. The true victory would be convincing these guys to join me. <laughs> I'm going to sit here and pun- and speechify at them until they agree with my worldview. <laughs> Do you mock me, donkey? <laughs> D- no, sir. I-, I find your ideas suddenly intriguing and would like to subscribe to your newsletter. Well, then let me show you just how <laughs> intriguing I can be. He looks over to you. He throws a punch and his arm starts to <gasps> spring out as the coils... <laughs> Unravel. Oh no! His fist moves forward. That's a nat twenty. <laughs> oh boy! So I'm going to need you to roll a uh, oh, deck save to see if you can keep hold of that jug that you're making oil. Oh okay. Not great. Mm. Uh, eight. Yeah, I'm. Gonna, I'm sorry, man. The, the jug <laughs> just. <laughs> Just kind of falls to the ground and starts spilling onto the floor. And you take... This could be real bad. Well, he rolled a one on damage. Okay. That's not the worst, but it's still... Do-do-do-do-do-do-do. Five damage. All right. It's necrotic for that, or for the record. (laughs) Such... Foul! You think I'm done? He throws another fist at you. (laughs) Misses. Then he starts to swing a kick at you, which also (laughs) coils out in the same direction. (laughs) Misses. (sighs) And his final kick. Also misses. <laughs> I love just going with all limbs. Boing. Just Boing. imagine Boing. a really bad game of arms. <laughs> oh, so oh. your typical game of arms. <laughs> I was about to say. <laughs> yeah, fwing, fwing, fwing. Ah, I see you've studied my mum jitsu. <laughs> just a little bit. Our last encounter wasn't that great, as you might recall. <laughs> it certainly did not end in your favor if it weren't for your fish friend. But he's not here now, is he? 
Or is he? As a bonus action, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. with my ring, I create, I create the image of Wake. <laughs> Basically right here. Directly there? Yes, just, just over by him. And do you point when you do yeah. that? Or is he? And I <laughs> point in his direction. Mumja looks over. I'm going to have him roll against your deception. Okay. Or performance or... It's a, it's a social charisma skill. Performance. I'll go with that. With uh, modified 20. He matches you, so he's like... Wait. No. Impossible. There's no way you could have gotten free. He's also not moving. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have him do like one quick investigation check on it. But Eloy, while he's distracted, your turn. Uh, do something with advantage. Uh, let's see. He's got... Hmm. Well, if I've got advantage... <laughs> <laughs> Time to get risky. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I will... Um... I'll try and hit him with a fairy fire. He gets a deck save. Uh, okay. Versus DC 16. All right. Makes it with that, but with disadvantage. DC 16, you say? Yeah. No. <laughs> ah! as, as he, like, realizes that it's fake. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so now... Uh, so now he's all lit up, and we have advantage on attack rolls against him. Yeah, he's glowy, and you have advantage. Okay. Yeah. I like that. All right, so me? Uh, no, you, you had your turn, oh, yeah, which right. was uh, basically trying to, yeah. Okay. My, Wait, my, no, my, you... my illusion, which was a bonus illusion action? illusion is a bonus action. Sorry, yes. yeah, go ahead and uh, finish your okay. turn. Sorry. Well, we'll... Uh. we'll I'm trading this yeah. as you two trading. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah. fine. That's, yeah. You we, share initiative. Yeah, yeah. our initiative is shared, so yeah. really. It's, it's combat. Stuff happens fast. It's yeah. fine. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, well, now that action. he's glowing, I aim my fiery ring at him and just All launch right. with how it works in this modified uh, uh, campaign. I'm, I'm going to say, like, uh, Zito usually makes you roll a spell attack, which yep. I'm guessing. Eh, screw it. I'll let you use your dex mod. It's cool. a range attack. Hey. Ba -ba -ba, not bad. Uh, so it's. Uh, 24. That'll hit. Roll 1d10. You cast Firebolt. Nine! And since he... Do, do, do. <laughs> yeah, you singed his cape, sir. <laughs> That will teach you. He flaps it. Oh, no. Strikes, his mum, <laughs> strikes a pose for his mum jitsu. And he goes at you again. That'll hit. That's one hit. Miss. That's, uh, yeah, a modified 20 will hit you. Or modified 19, I'm sorry. Yes. A nine will not, though. Yes. So that's two hits. That is... Eight damage. Okay. And three damage. <laughs> How are you doing, Ezra? I might be down. Oh, are you? Because <laughs> I haven't taken a healing potion this whole time. That is a problem. <laughs> I gave you those, sir. I know. Because, yeah, he, he uh, you said eight and what? You've taken a total of 11 damage. 11 damage from what I had? Yeah. Are you unconscious? I am unconscious. <laughs> I've been knocked out. Uh, Eloy, your friend, your compatriot, your trusted leader has fallen to the ground at the hands of Mumja. Oh boy, <laughs> I think this might be a death or glory situation. <laughs> uh, Mumja's not looking very fatigued. <clears throat> I'll tell you that. Yeah, I'm gonna... Just, oh boy. I want you to roll a knowledge check with advantage real quick for me. See if you can remember something. Something's flooding through your head. Something that Red said about the Gemeralds. Uh, eight. Thanks, advantage. Eight. 
I'll give you Red's bonus. <laughs> <instead>. <laughs> she told you so well. <laughs> All right, with this, you remember. You remember the Gemeralds sometimes act differently when crossed with each other, each other, each other, each other, each other, each other. My Perhaps crossbow of justice is yeah. just there. Yeah, his ring is just oh, boom. All right, I'll. Uh... <laughs> Eloy, you rush to your friend's aid. Reach for his hand. Yep, I'll, uh... Gemeralds, we, we need your help! And I just, like... Smash your keytar. <laughs> just touch my keytar's gemerald to, to the one in his crossbow of justice. I want you to roll a d4. All right. Where's my bag? What are you doing, you foolish dog? Four. Mumja freezes. Nothing is moving. Can I move? Even Cleocatra, who's sitting up in the stands, licking her wounds, is just... Everything's frozen except you. It's like clock stoppers, man. Zawarudo has just passed over you. Time has stopped. <gasps> healing potion! Healing potion! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how do healing potions work again? I always forget. Uh, 2d4 plus 2. Okay. Yeah, feel free to just down them. Because you have four rounds plus one. Oh, man. So, yeah. To just collect yourselves. Ezra, you wake up. Time huh. doesn't stop. The st time is not moving. But you are... Like, you Good. and Eloy are moving because of your Gemeralds. Quick thinking, Eloy. Combining the powers of uh, the Gemerald of, of Shadows and the Gemeralds of... I want you to roll <laughs> knowledge to see if you know what happened. Twelve? <laughs> uh, uh, you can think back to Red's message, <laughs> and you can kind of assume that Eloy must have, in his concern and hopes... The two gemeralds within your items have combined together to cast this massive spell. <laughs> Great thinking, Eloy. Putting them together like that. Didn't think you had it in you, but you saved me. Just gonna add all Before these. Before you up. call this GM bull plop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is actually in my notes that each of the gemeralds, when combined together, will do something specific. But well, you can only do it once. Back as we you can. can't just like say, "Oh shit, we're back." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we put them back together. This is a once a I'll, I'll say week scenario type thing, because the gemeralds are just oscillating with power, and you don't want to mess with those types of forces. With that because I yeah, I planned for this encounter to be scaled to their ridiculous <laughs> items. <laughs> I have recovered back twenty nine health points. All right, Eloy, do you recover anything? Uh, uh, yeah, I, I downed three healing potions. I'm back up to 49 right, out of 50. That would be about, that leaves you with one round left yep. to decide what to do as Mum just, just sitting there. Frozen in time. Well, unfortunately, my alchemy jug only worked once a day, so I was hoping to amplify your, your melting <laughs> solos along with my fire ring, but alas, that, that ship has sailed. I think it's time for us to just fill this guy up with uh, some magic crossbow bolts and some 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 loud magic. Right. So you want to yeah. so you want to both do a surprise round where you just blast him. Do you want to move to mess with him at all? Actually, yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I I do have a 120 foot ra range on this face melting solo. Yeah, so. I also have a 120 foot range on my uh on my. All right, go ahead and so move back. Crossbow. We've only got one round though. I can only go so far. Yeah. yeah you you get one movement and one action. Yeah. Oh, you're splitting up. Yes. Yeah. In case he'll he has any AOE <laughs> abilities we don't know fair about. Fair enough. Not That's a bad idea. He'll have to at least focus one of us. Also, with my bonus action, I turn invisible. Uh, your, invis your invisibility will lose its effect after you make an attack. Oh, okay. So I'd do it after you fire. That's fair. If I were you. Makes sense to me. Yeah, it's Didn't not greater invisibility. It's just regular invisibility. That's fine. Which lasts longer, but is less effective in combat. Yeah. Oh, trust me, I've got my eye on that greater invisibility spell in our cannon. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Eloy, so you're going to cast your... Yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it with advantage for the first bolt, but as soon as that first bolt flies out, time begins to move. 
All right, well, as, as long as I can keep my concentration up and he's glowing, we have advantage on all attack rolls anyway. Then I'll let you do it with hyper advantage. <laughs> like, you get three rolls if the first two miss somehow. <laughs> all right. Uh, let's see, that's, that's a hit. Uh, does a 15 hit? A 15 will not hit. Okay. Um, well, that's worse. Hyper advantage. Okay. <laughs> all right, but I do get five of these, so that's... All right, so the first one just misses all out? Yeah. Ah, oh, damn. Um, okay, one more. Okay, two hits out of five, it looks like. All right, uh, what were the rolls? Uh, it was a, uh, let's see, that one's a, a 22, and That'll the hit. other one was a 23. Those will definitely hit. Yeah. All right, so two. Blunder! What? <laughs> <laughs> All right, roll damage. As he, like, swoops out of the way. Whoa! His, mum his amazing <laughs> mummy agility allowed him to bound out of the way of that first beam, but the other two behind it, ha! <gasps> uh, 13 damage to him. 13 fire damage yep. to the mummy boy. And then with all seven of my crossbow bolts screaming towards him, <laughs> they do 21 plus seven, so 28. Wow. <laughs> Got a, got a solid roll for those. It seems the mumjutsu isn't enough. Time to move on to my mumjutsu. <laughs> he says, creating a hand sign. As the earth below you begins to shake, I need each of you to make a dex save. All right. Uh, twenty-one. Thirteen. All right, Eloy, I'm afraid you fail your save. But Ezra, you manage to whoa, roll out of the way as a pillar shoots up from the ground. Mm. Eloy, you get trapped by yours and whoa, pinned to the ceiling. You'll be taking damage for that, but I'll roll that in a second as a few more pillars pop up. Chakung. Chakung. <coughs> Chakung. Chakung. Jesus. Okay, I'm actually going to roll these individually because that would be ridiculous. <laughs> they all nat 20. Fuck. What the shit? What the fuck? <laughs> Things looking real bad. I've rolled four sixes in a row. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's better. All right, so in total you take, hold on, need to find this spell again. 33 damage. Jesus Christ. Yeah, I rolled a lot of fucking sixes on this goddamn dice. And a three. <laughs> All right. Well, I'm still up, not by much. <laughs> Yeah, that's a, it's, a, it's a spell. It's a strong spell. Yeah, uh, I need you to make a strength check, to, or uh, a strength or a dex check to try to pry yourself free up there to slide back down. All right. Uh, uh, that would be a 23. All right, you slip out and slide back down the pole, back down to the ground. Oh! <laughs> yeah, your ribs feel cracked. Big old pain you're, in the gut. You're, oh, you're feeling a little thinner than usual. Uh, but you're, uh, uh, go ahead and set yourself behind the pillar because I'm feeling like you're going to want to take cover, I'm guessing. Yeah. All right, Ezra, you managed to skillfully yes. roll out of the way of that pillar. I've avoided mine. Now, uh, I know the way turns go. It's movement, action. Uh, I have cunning action, which allows me to spend a bonus action to hide. Can I go ahead and do that? Yeah. Okay. Because I'm, I'm assuming he can still see me. Yes. So, voila. Voila. So I'm going to try and sneak back here. Is that a stealth roll to get away from him? Sure. Not great. Uh, nine. Yeah, he's keeping his eye on you. He sees where you've hidden. Damn. Well, either way, I guess I can still 
Launch more crossbow bolts. <laughs> All right, he's going to. Oh, sorry, he still has a movement. Oh, he does. Okay, yeah, no that mind. was just his action. Uh, yeah, he's going to attempt to stealth from you. Oh. Uh, go ahead and make a perception check versus him. Uh, twenty-three. Eleven. Eloy, you don't see him, but Ezra, okay. he's, he's, he's right him. there. <laughs> where'd he go? Where'd he go? Oh, where'd that mummy go? <laughs> oh, I don't like this. All right, Ezra, you're going to let loose your crossbows on him? Yes. Seven bolts flying towards him, doing, yes, another 21 uh, plus seven, so 28. Just cracking just, him in the ribs. Gah, 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 gah. Bug, 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 bug. <laughs> Now, can I attempt to hide again now that I've got my movement back? No, that was your movement. No, that was Remember? a free action. Oh, that was a free action? Yeah. Sure, if you want to try to hide behind a different pillar. Yeah. I'm going to say hiding behind the same pillar. Probably not going to Yeah, probably great. not going to work. Especially now that you have his attention with yes. those crossbow bolts, you're going to be doing it at disadvantage. Well. He got an at 20. He knows exactly where you're moving. All right, well, I went here, but you saw it. <laughs> yeah, he's, he's looking at you just... <sighs> All right, Eloy, your turn. Right. Uh, you, you have to find him. or Yeah, so he is still glowing from the fairy fire. He is, Can but I... he's behind cover at the moment from right. you. Where'd he go, Ezra? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I mean, I did see him. <laughs> yeah, you did. You can tell him. All right. All he's... out is a free action. He's back there, behind that pillar. Okay. Um, could I tell when I saw him casting spells earlier, could I tell if those are... Like, spells the way a wizard would cast them with, with verbal components? I'll let you roll a arcane check as a free, free action here. All right. Nope! <laughs> I have no idea. He's got mummy ninja magic, man. You don't know. This, this is some weird stuff. Hmm. All right. So I know, I know generally where he is. not want to get out of this cover. You know what? I'm just going to chug a healing potion. My last healing potion. Here. Do it. Not a bad idea. Just better better safe. Uh, five, six, seven. I mean, it's something. It'll bring me back up to 20. Yeah, that's... Um, well, let's see. How, how far can my movement take me? Can't quite get me behind that other pillar. Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna. Well, hmm. No, I'm just gonna hang tight where I am and and hope he shows himself. All I'm right. gonna I'm gonna like try and keep an eye to see if I can see that glow popping out from from behind anything. Well, while you were hiding back there. The air begins to fill with mist. A thick cloud, fog, blankets the space. I don't have my pen. Um, yeah, I don't have the dry erase pen. Anyway, uh, the thick cloud fog just kind of covers this area where the pillars are and anything back towards here. All right. There's a thick fog. So while you might be able to see a glow in the mist, it's still going to be kind of hard to tell. So you will be able to see where he moves, but you don't get advantage on attacks anymore, because this would normally be for disadvantage. Yes. Okay. All right. So he yeah, they cancel each other out. Moves back here. All right. Am I, can I see him again? Was I able to see him moving in between? With the glow? Yeah. Uh, from your position, hiding behind the pillar, make a perception check with disadvantage. All right. Because you're, like, hiding. Uh, modified 20. Yep, you saw him. Okay. <laughs> you, you have a general knowledge of where he is until he hit that pillar. I don't Ezra, I assume you've been keeping tabs on yes, him. Yes. So you, you, you know I'm, where he is now. I haven't changed really my actions of being behind this and just looking at him. <laughs> yeah, I know. Yeah. He, and he, whatever he did to cause the mist, he was still hidden when he did that, though, right? I wasn't able to, to try to observe how he cast that spell. Yeah. You guys hear a thud, a couple of thuds in the sand. <laughs> hey, guys!
guys, what we miss? <gasps> I got him free. I hurt my teeth a lot, but I got him. <laughs> <laughs> Nedra. Oh, I'm glad to hear you. I actually rolled at the beginning of this to see how many rounds it would take. <laughs> <laughs> nice. All right. So yeah, uh, you have two fresh combatants now that are basically NPCs. Sorry I'm late, everyone. That now where's that rotten, now where's that rotten, rotten rat, wrapped fiend? Wrapped <laughs> scoundrel. There we go, that's what I was looking for. Wrapped <laughs> scallion. <sighs> <laughs> Our foe is the glow. The glowy foe. <laughs> Nedra, punch the glow. All right. They'll be going after you guys. All right. Ezra, I believe you're up. All right. I take aim with my crossbow of justice, letting loose another seven magic bolts. Shoot your bow at the glow foe. I do 14 damage. Do, 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 do. Ow! <laughs> you hear from the mist. <laughs> Eloy. Uh, I'm going to whip out the guitar and go power cord, because that's a, that's a radius so I can... Ooh, yeah, nice. Yeah, and I, I don't, yeah, don't need line of sight. And it's a ten foot power cord, and he gets a con save. Yeah, con save for half damage. Uh, your save is what? Sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Okay. Uh, six, ten, twelve. So he'll take twenty four if he misses his save. Twelve if he gets it. <laughs> and the uh, pillar crumbles in front of him. Mm. Yeah, they don't have a lot of hit points, these pillars. Nice. Yeah, wake. Steps over here. Because he heard where that went. <laughs> and he's going to cast... Do, 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 do. Gust of wind to get rid of Ooh. all of this smoke. Hey. So he starts spinning his staff. All of the fog dissipates. You see Mumja. <sighs> Nedra! <laughs> <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Nedra charges him. She still has to hit him, though. He's got some pretty good AC, yeah. but not against a nat 20. Hey. Oh. Go, go, Magic Nedra. Poof. In slow motion, you just... Poof. You see a bit of, like, spittle fall through his, like, mummy wrappings. And he just goes flying <laughs> up, up. Poof. And he's gone. He's like... In the pyramid somewhere, but he is through a wall. Ezra, you left him at one, or Eloy, with that last thing, you left him at one HP. <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like that worked out, says Wake. Uh, and we can cut the map now. <laughs> I guess we can head back to the Yelding, I guess. That makes sense to me if we can find a way out. All right. Uh... Ah, I roll perception to look for any sort of obvious Before exits. Before you do, pyramid begins to shake, and the oh. floor beneath you turns into grates. Chink. As the pyramid begins to float above you, you are on the ground, like, and the pyramid is now above you. There are grates as sand is trickling through. Ah. Looks like there's a lot of sand coming down, so I'm gonna need you guys to roll some deck saves to get away from it. Yeah, wake, wake makes it. Uh, 12. Nedra, wow, Nedra nat 20 again. Jesus, that girl. 12? Yeah. 17. All right, Ezra, you're able to make it. Uh, Eloy, help! 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 <laughs> help! <laughs> yeah, you're, you, you end up scrambling away, but you're like half buried. <laughs> like, you, you look like a normal human, just buried in the <laughs> Uh, Wake and Nedra help you up. Nedra helps you up. <laughs> <laughs> Fight you. You fools. You think you've gotten rid of me. The pyramid starts shaking. A leg comes down. 
another leg comes down. <laughs> Two arms sprout up. <laughs> the head comes out of the top. What sort of monstrosity is this? I think we need to summon the Yeldon. <laughs> Wake throws forward his Gemerald. <laughs> Gemerald of Storm! Gemerald of Shadows! Mirrors. Mirrors! Whichever Gemerald I've got! Gemerald of Sound! Gemerald of Sound! That would make Dream. sense. <laughs> Go, go, Yeldon, go! <laughs> you see the Yeldon fly up from the distance as it begins to shape shift. <laughs> go, go, Yeldon! Power of the wonders, Yeldon, go! Power, Yeldon, go, go, go! <laughs> Lands next to you as three pods slip down. Sorry. <laughs> you can climb into them as you see fit. I hop in mine. Ezra, ready for battle! <laughs> Mine's got hay in it! <laughs> <laughs> Wait, prepared to battle. Nedra, gonna punch something! <laughs> Shunk! You all get shot up to your proper battle stations. Eloy in the armory department. Ez <laughs> Wake and Nedra in the arms. And Ezra forms the head! Woo! <laughs> with red. <laughs> go, go, Yeldon, go! Shh. All right. This is now a mecha battle. <laughs> I am going to make up a crap ton of rules. All right, <laughs> let's go. Ezra, I want you to roll initiative. You sure about that? <laughs> yes. 12. All right. They got a six. Oh, okay. Hey. Pyramid's a little slow. All right. Now, as the head, you get to make the decisions, but we have to make the actions. Oh, no. <laughs> so right. tell us. As the Mumja Pyramid stands before us, <laughs> ready to do battle, what does the Yeldon do? All right, arms, I want you to just do a, basically an axe handle, just side swipe his head. <laughs> you got it! <laughs> Nedra and Nedra gets ready. Wake gets ready. They stomp forward. <laughs> Roll to attack. <coughs> All right, we are going to roll. A D hundred. <laughs> Slam! God. Fifty-eight damage. <laughs> <laughs> we get one more attack action. What do you want us to do as we're in front of it? All right. Uh... <laughs> Eloy is manning cans, which basically like cannons, like that are basically like covering. Like you got a massive <laughs> cannon on the Yeldon. All right, Eloy, center. with your cannons, just full blast straight ahead. Send him to hell. All right. Roll a ranged attack damage. Right, uh, ranged. You got Risp in there blessing it. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how much I don't know how much powder we can put in it. <laughs> All right, rolling a ranged Delton attack. Delton says, chugging his juice. <laughs> <laughs> golfer, yeah, golf, golfer. I rolled a fourteen natural plus whatever this monstrosity uh, it's, gets. It's your, it's your dex. My dex. Okay. Uh, yeah, you're aiming. Okay, so uh, uh, nineteen then. All right, roll a D100 or a 2D10, basically. Right. One for the 10 place, one for the... Here we are. That's a 55. You see a massive chunk shoot out of the side of this giant mummy mecha. <laughs> the giant mumja mecha. <laughs> Fire everything! <laughs> you hear screaming from the, from the other mech as the uh, innards open up and the purple core that you saw just begins glowing, this radiant, radiant glow. Ezra, what do you do? Defensive actions! Uh, Defensive right. maneuvers! <laughs> the arms come together over the Yeldon's <laughs> face. Brace for impact! And as you brace for impact... I need everybody to roll a deck save against this. Because it hits. Eight. Ten. Purr. You get shaken. <coughs> oh, 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 it's powering. Sparks are flying everywhere. Uh, Nedra is fine. Wake. A little shooken. Everybody all right? <laughs> it's been a long day. We're okay. How's it? I'm not sure how much more she can take, Captain! Then you know what that means. Yes, we're gonna have what to, does it mean? We're going to have to go all out. Ready the... Ready the Yeldon special weapon! The Yeldon special weapon! <laughs> okay! He throws a switch. <laughs> <laughs> 
the Yeldon begins to spark, <laughs> spark to life with power as massive blades shoot out of its arms. <laughs> they turn into two swords. The Yeldon dual blades. The dual <laughs> blades of the Yeldon. They cross it in front of the. They cross it in front of the cannon. Eloy, make one more ranged attack as they charge the energies. Eight. <laughs> Now make an arcane check. <laughs> Five. Go, Eloy. <laughs> Red's good. Uh, Red hops in. Yeah, Risp is gonna help you out here. Blessing it. <laughs> Not much better, but you know what? The entire point of this was to fire a cannon blast that projected the blades forward. So it did its job. <laughs> so the blades are gonna swing. Nat twenty. Hey. Oh, there we go. And an eighteen, which also hits. Go, go, Gildan! Gildan, force, go! So while the cannonball just plunk accidentally <laughs> fires to the ground. <laughs> Oops. Uh, Gopher, I told you you were supposed to be in charge of the cannons. It takes a massive 180 damage. <laughs> as uh, strike straight at the crystal. No! <laughs> As the top of the as the top of the pyramid goes flying away. Curse you, blunders! <laughs> <laughs> Looks like mum's the word for mum just. Ah, we got this case all wrapped up. <laughs> da -da 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 -da. Natural wonders! Close captioning brought to you in part by... <laughs> do -do 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 -do. Close captioning brought to you in part by... Uh, sponsored in part by the Jahal Cove Tourist Board. Jahal Cove, home of the Las Aranas' largest and most colorful aviary. And probate. Probate, money for nothing, and bits for free. <laughs> <laughs> the credits begin to roll as the natural wonders freeze frame in their glorious yeah. pattern. <laughs> Everything is wonderful. The natural wonders have saved the day once again from the evil mumja. <laughs> Scene. <laughs> <laughs> Bravo. Good stuff. Very, very... <laughs> As soon as the thing started rumbling, I was like, all right, he's going to like take off. And then he got legs. And I was like, oh, wait. He said this was like, he definitely mentioned Power Rangers at some point in this. Yep. Yeah. Oh. I wanted to get my Yeldon Mecha battle in. <laughs> uh, by the way, those of you wondering about the uh, Q&A on the Discord, we're going to be waiting for Zito to get yes, back so to Yes, so we're going to do that next week. But thank you so much for uh, tuning in for the Saturday Morning Cartoon Wonders. Uh, before we go, we also have some fan art that I would like to show off here. Uh, da -da -da, TFS at the table. Fan art special. Woo! Go. Yeah. And for those wondering, uh, we do have a other uh, fan art special yes. that runs earlier in the day yep. that you can catch live uh, 2 o'clock Central Time where we go over pretty much all the fan art that we get. Anyway, starting off here at number 12, Ooh, we have yeah. this beautiful Nedra picture by MFS Arts. I love the use of color here. Yeah, that's I love the cool. sparkiness. Uh, Nedra saying, Wake Sensei, look what I can do now. Infernal Storm! Doing her anime techniques. I love her happy face. <laughs> that's pretty rad. Thank you so much for that. Uh, next up here, probably one of the most... Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, hold on, let me go by latest. Yep, we got Mumja. <laughs> that's... Got to scroll Basically down to find him real quick. Basically what I saw in my mind. There we go. We got Abram Amari drawing this shredder-ass mumja. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight I dine on wonder soup. <laughs> Natural blunders just seemed like the no, best yeah, that's thing great. to go with for that. <laughs> but thank you so much for that one. You can find Abram Amari on Twitter, at Abram underscore Amari. Thank you kindly. Next up, we have this Ooh. red fan art. I feel like we haven't seen a lot of red. Down. Yeah, we don't get a lot of red, but uh, we got a little bit of red appreciation this week. Yeah. This by Avadito1. Uh, there was a sketch that we showed earlier uh, on one of the art streams, but this is the full-colored version, just ah. ready to go full Castlevania. Yeah, got that fire say. whip uh, glowing. Red Belmont. Ready to go. Thank you so much, Avadito1. Next up, <laughs> we got this uh, great non-canon, non-scenario uh, here where Wake is holding Skrung. Seems like Ezra's not doing a great job piloting that ship. Because, <laughs> <laughs> drive the ship better, Ezra! As he's trying to pull himself. <laughs> and Skrung, who I'm guessing just kind of fell overboard. Uh, this is by Kianuva12. 
And Scrung Vote's mutiny. <laughs> <laughs> Neither of us are happy with him at the moment. Thank you so much, Katie. If Katie anyone would, it'd be Scrung. Next up, a little bit more Red Love by Ooh. Caitlin C37, whose commissions are overflowing, so they are closed at the moment. But feel free to follow Caitlin <laughs> N37 for when her commissions reopen, because her art is fantastic. Yeah, that looks amazing. Yeah. A little bit more Red Love. Always got to appreciate Red. Next up, by uh, Gage Blackert. We got this uh, kind of cash clothes training ready Nedra. I dig it's it. More ready to get, get ready to throw some punchies. Yep, got a nice uh, vacuum sealed spandex shirt there. It's necessary. <laughs> necessary. And speaking of the uh, Saturday morning cartoon, I could not not include this one up next. We have uh, Teja Kuro Dora, who's got our uh, mummy ninja in the background, but we also got Pumpkin Knight. <laughs> <laughs> some so sort of gargoyle creature flying against the moon and a werewolf. So many characters for the next time Zito comes out of town, guys. <laughs> the rogues gallery. Yeah, true rogues gallery for the natural wonders. Thank you so much. Teja Kuro Tora, or Petta, uh, Pecha Ojanin. Next up. Scrolling, scrolling. We got this cute little calliope here by Nanorhana1. I love it. it. It's kind of like... I'm not sure how to describe the style. It's very children's book yes, style. Yeah, yeah. I, I saw somebody in the chat on the art stream earlier saying she looks like the girl from the Goofy movie. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> right. I can see that. Kawaiipi. Yeah, Kawaiipi. Yeah, <laughs> yes, thank you so much, Nana, uh, Hannah one Next up. Probably the Ooh. cutest piece of art, like one that literally just made me go, aw, when I saw it. <laughs> Uh, by O Gale Fox, O G A E L F O X. Here's a little, a little bit of a peaceful, happy day for Wake <laughs> as uh, Calliope just sits and reads in his lap as he's meditating, uh, throwing in a little quote The only times of normalcy where I feel like I'm not in conflict are either when I'm teaching Nedra, passing on my knowledge, or right now, I guess. <laughs> I mean, Baka, if you want us. <laughs> yeah, this one is absolutely adorable. Thank you so much. It is one of my favorite pieces we have ever received. Next. Ah, uh, there's yeah. actually a series of these by Rasili, uh, Rasila Tomi, uh, R-A-S-I-L-A-T-O-M-M-I. Thank you so much for this. This is a, a, a pensive or sad-looking wrist. He looks, uh, he looks a little Digimon-y, but I love the bright colors of yeah. his skin against the background there. I love his, I love his giant oversized coat. Yep. <laughs> These are adorable. Uh, definitely check out some of those. Just hanging out. They are great. Next, by Z Polar Bear 77 oh. we have another Mumja. Ready to go. Ready to roll. Ready to take some souls. It's like Darksiders. Kind of, yeah. <laughs> like this Mumja, he, he means business. Mumja Dagger. Scrolling down, uh, last one we have. Yes! Yeah. <laughs> this one, which you might recognize from last week's thumbnail. Uh, this by Toby Perry, or at Perry That. Scaffy, comforting, uh, <laughs> comforting Ezra after the rough day he's had. It was a Just, day. Oh, help me. Just a little stressed. Wonderful. Thank you so much, Toby Perry, for that awesome art. Terrific. Uh, and kick it back to main cam. And thank all of you so much for joining us. We'll be reading off a few more bits after this. But other than that, thank you so much for joining us for the Saturday morning spectacular of the Natural Wonders. Thank you Bravo. so much. Thank you. I, I hope you all had fun. Great I worked time. relatively hard on this. <laughs> I hope, but most of all, I hope you had fun. Yes, absolutely. Because they're, they, they're forced to be here. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're getting paid for this. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for joining us. Uh, very happy to have you aboard this journey with us. And we look forward to getting back to our canon journey, where we will unveil the <gasps> winner. Unfurl, even. Unfurl yeah. the winner of our flag-making contest next week, as soon as Zito hits the table back with us. We'll see you again next week at the Table Wonders. Have a good night.